And we are live Wednesday night with those guys. And Wednesday night with those guys is sponsored by those guys. guys. What's up? What's up? What's up, everyone? How's it going? I just got your alert. So I can go to the chat. I am in. What's okay. good, man? How are you, Herman? One of these days, this is going to work the way it's I want it to work. work the way we want it to, right? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of talking about the whole setup with the screen and everything. I love it, but um, sometimes um, I'm still getting to learn it. You know, I'm still learning it. <laughs> you know, this thing. He's, that he's still does. taking some getting used to. What's up, Drone Shots? Yeah. How are you, sir? When you open up these multiple windows and things like that, they kind of have a tendency to be where they want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it does happen. JSK Enterprises, how are you? What's up? You two are the first two here. Unfortunately, we cannot schedule live streams anymore because well, Zoom and YouTube are acting funky lately. I and will schedule, schedule it next week. Definitely. Well, we, we schedule it and what happens, people sit there in a the chat and then when the show goes live, we it no, opens up another window and leaves people in the first chat and doesn't even tell them that a new chat is open. So hopefully we'll have it working. Um, um we'll, we're gonna work some things out. There's gonna be some changes. I'm click that like to... button early. Welsh Rob, how are you, sir? I am going What's to good? schedule the I'm going to schedule the, uh, the show. It'll be scheduled. You were freezing up. You're and like, I'm going to. Just... Er, er, er. And then you sped up. All right. Well, next week will be scheduled. Okay. I'm having right. a little issue with. It doesn't music. seem to have. Okay. Oh, yeah. It did skip on the, on the. um. They just saw it skip this just now. Because there's even longer of a delay. I don't know if you've noticed that, but there's more of a delay now. It used to be four seconds. I think it's about five to seven seconds now before they actually see what we're saying. What's up, Michael Blade? How are you, sir? Future FPV pilot on the low. Yeah, he's flying. He's flying FPV. He's learning. Um, just forget about all the tricks and stuff. Learn throttle control. When you see me always cruising and stuff, I'm always practicing my lines, trying to get straight. Now, what I have a problem with is sometimes the horizon is tilted, which means I'm flying crooked. Okay. So now I'm focusing on that. But I, I, I <laughs> tricks aren't my forte, I should say. I got you. This one has no camera mount. Did a power dive into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, Justin and I were practicing gaps. We would fly through the gap, go up into a power loop and try and hit the gap again. Uh -huh. And he was like, you're too low. So I went up and I did it again. Yeah, you're getting in that stick time. Yeah, I, I can tell. But I went through and I hit the power loop a little lower than I should have. And the yeah. ground just came up too fast. The drone <laughs> went one way, the camera mount went another. You're doing good. But I have replacements here. You're doing good. I have replacements here, and I have a uh -huh. waterproof case. So what I'm going to do is, to protect my camera, I'm going to take this case and put my GoPro inside it. Like okay. So. And then, if I crash or anything, it's going to crack up the GoPro, the waterproof case. Gotcha. You see this here, right? This shit is all busted up. Mm -hmm. But that's not my Hero 7. That, that's my 5. But it'll fit inside the bracket here. The bracket will go on the drone. Mm -hmm. This will fit in here with the teeth. And because it's TPU, it'll probably bend back quicker than it'll snap off. Okay. So at least right. in theory. I don't know what happens when you hit the ground at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> After I hit the ground at 50 miles an hour. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. You remember that? You remember this, right? Did I used yeah. to clip it onto my hat? Mm -hmm. Little duck bill thing. I used to clip it onto my baseball cap, but I didn't have stabilization back then. Now I do. 
what happened? Your head rotates now with the hat on it so you can stabilize it. No, I actually waiting for the Tango 2 to get from FPV. I get it in the backs. It was back ordered. Okay. And you then you could use a simulator. That's true. Yeah, I I haven't been on the simulator because I'm going through computer issues here, but I'm going to resolve it before the week's out because I have to. You know what I'm looking at? Hmm. And next week's not going to catch me with all of this fur. What happened? I can't. That's all this hair on my face. I can't. Next week's not going to catch me with all this hair. Well, I wanted to get rid of the COVID, and then I had the COVID beard growing. Mm -hmm. The only thing, hey, Bob Casey. Yes, we're back at it again, sir. Hey, my Bob problem Casey. was with yeah. my COVID beard, mm -hmm. it was the softest and fullest it had ever been. Oh, but I was you let it grow. Huh? Because you just let it grow. Dude, you see all this salt and pepper? It's not even salt and pepper anymore. It's just salt with specks of pepper. <laughs> and then the whole thing would have went like this along. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I felt like a, a reject Santa. A reject Santa? But I said I was going to shave off the mustache and beard. And then for some reason, the razor just kept stopping. Okay. At the edge. Then I pictured myself looking like one of those hairless cats. So, yeah. Now, Especially you know, my, I haven't seen my upper lip in a few years. You know, it's funny you mentioned Reject Santa. You know how every year, well, not this year, but every year they have the uh, Santa Con and yeah. a bunch of Reject Santa Clauses. Uh huh. You, that's an excuse for them to go bar hopping during the day. And they always seem to end up in a fight. Yeah. At some bar somewhere. The group of you know, I noticed that they, they highlight. In fact, this year they didn't do it. Yeah, I don't know if it was COVID. because of COVID or the people. The well, people what bars are you going it. into? They didn't organize it, right? I didn't see the, didn't see the good Santa's, this, the drunk Santa's this year. Can't go into the bars. <laughs> that's true. You can't get drunk. You can't have fun. congregating. They would have had to do it at somebody's house. <laughs> and <laughs> those guys don't Santa's know each other. Thrown, Santa's getting thrown out bay windows. One guy pissing out the second floor window. <laughs> it's funny because, like I said, they don't know each other and they always see that up in a big mm -hmm. brawl every year. You guys click that like button and support each other's channel. I see you got your usual hater. Oh, well, it's probably me. <laughs> it's probably you by mistake right yeah uh, well it doesn't matter anyway how was everybody's week uh it's still early yeah. it's like 507 um, we let a few more people get in here before we get in to our usual the time. weather around the world uh, around the country and around the world because i know we have a lot of people here that um are from all over the country mm -hmm. and a few from other countries mm -hmm. i know we have a few people from Canada that passed through. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of people. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but a few. Hey, people. Newfound Drones. How are you? Oh, see? He's got... been pushing out some videos, too. Oh, I've, yeah. I've been checking his stuff out on the low. I, I, I just want guys to know. I, I check out videos. I don't always have a chance to leave a message on all of them. My problem is, how come every time I come to your live stream, I have to resubscribe? Why? You're asking me? You don't have to resubscribe. You already subscribed. Thank you, Bob Casey. You, you, it probably is, but I see no found drone and, and I see his videos when they come up because I have that bell clicked. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's good to see people, you know, from around the world. I, I'd rather watch stuff from yeah. around the world than, more so than local. Hey, AZ drone dude. How are you, sir? Of, we got a few guys coming in from Australia. Right, we do. We have about two or three people that come in from Australia, and then I don't remember what part of the world show is. He's from Asia, but I think he's here in the states now. Oh, um, we appreciate the support. It's just we try to stop by and visit people. It, it's kind of hard not to. Drone shots. What's good, man? I see a lot of videos, but I don't comment on all exactly because well not well sometimes i don't sometimes i don't comment on a video because 
I'm either watching the video and doing something else. What's up, Roger? How are you, sir? Roger. You know what it is? I set up this, I set up this here and I'm watching videos and I go from one to the other back, like I'm watching tennis. And I don't, a lot of times I don't have time because I have videos that I got to watch for information on stuff and things that I'm doing that I got to get. Drone and news. And drone. other things that I'm checking out that I'm interested in. I'm actually teaching myself with, with the internet on a, a subject that I've been working on. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, like I said, I watch a lot of videos. I every because I got everybody newfound drawing. Everybody comes up when I click the bell up there. Everybody comes up. But it right. is just that I don't always have time to leave a message, so I'm always going back and forth, back and forth. But I leave one here and there where I can. But um, what's good? No, with you? Tom tonight. I don't know if Tom's working late or, or oh, running he late. Might be working late. I don't know. He probably he might be he didn't working. Say late. anything to me. But um, right. We haven't gotten any any message that he wasn't going to show. Well, so maybe he's running a little late or actually or, in the green room right, right now. Okay. See, he's coming in. See, you, you guys talk to yeah, him. I just, live a long time. Got a message. He was in the green room and he was coming in. <laughs> Tom, they've been looking for. Him. What's up, Tom? But, um, yeah, they were just they asking me. Huh? Huh? Like what? No, Tom. Tonight? Man, it it warms my heart. <laughs> I'm here, guys. I made it. You got a mute, Tom. Yeah, you got a mute to show. Yeah, sorry, guys. No problem. It's it's not loud, loud. It's but one yeah. of those. It's one of those days. And, uh, and no. yes. Uh oh. Uh, All right, salute, Tom. Because usually I get the cup about a half hour into the stream. I try to, but this one I got before the show started. And it's one That's of those good. days because I'm, I'm wiring a drone, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this VTX, uh -huh. no, this transmitter, this receiver, I've wired five, six, seven of them and no problem. And this one, for some reason, the ground wire just keeps popping off. And I'm like, it has a hole. So what you do is you put the solder through the hole and then you heat up the solder and then it covers the port, right? And I attach it and I attached it to the body. Yes, Wells Rob, mention, mention, and, and, and he will appear. But this black wire, I, I put the double-sided tape down where the receiver is gonna be in the drone and everything, and the black wire popped off again. So you know what? I was like, that's a sign and leave it the hell alone for today. But tomorrow I'm gonna fix that bitch and she's gonna stay soldered. Because um, Hadley was telling me, because this is a real, my first real long distance drone, you want the parts to be soldered. You don't want vibration to loosen them or, or come loose. Right, uh, right. Definitely not. Wiki, Definitely not. Me being a wiki soldering. One of these days, Lawrence, they're going to make those boards with steak ons just for you. Listen, I would, I would be happy with some glue tag. You could just, you could just crimp, crimp the, the, the <laughs> down on the wire and plug it on the terminal. I know. <laughs> um, I, I, I would only, I only wish they would. <laughs> hey, Russell Glenn. And you solder flux. Um, unfortunately, I was told by my drone gurus, my FPV gurus, not to use flux because I put too much on. So the solder that I have actually has flux in it. And well, the fluxing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Your flux capacity is a little too much. Yeah, exactly. It only much, has so much capacity. <laughs> I put so much flux on it, so um, it's just a matter of heating the pad. Is it eighty-eight and miles an hour? Or go back down in, on the pad because the pad has a hole in it. But like I said, I've done four or five of these receivers with no problem. Well, I admit the first one was an issue, but after that, I got the natch. I watched some soldering videos, and it's like touch tap, touch tap. And, and that's it. I did the other three like that, but there's uh -huh. always a bad apple in a bunch that wants to just, I, Murphy gets a lot of good laughs at Murphy's law. gets a lot of good laughs at my expense. Oh yeah. Um, Who was I'm just Mur saying, I just saw something recently. Somebody got their uh, soldering pen. Taken I have away 60, from 37, the Bob Casey. What happened? What happened? S somebody, somebody just got their uh, soldering pen taken away from them by the TSA. So 
<laughs> well, I just saw it on Facebook oh, in one wow. of the groups, and I'm like, first off, first off, really, you got to bring your soldering pen with you? Okay, that's one thing. But maybe, yeah. hey, in your kit, you know, hey, Lawrence, if you're guys. traveling, maybe. Well, maybe. They but if that there. soldering pen happens to be a a butane soldering pen, <laughs> yes, they're going to take it from you. And it's considered a weapon, right? Okay. Put it in his check bag. Yeah. Now, I have a portable soldering pen that works over a four cell, three cell, a four cell battery. I but by the time it gets up to board. temperature, I may get about five to 10 minutes soldering work out of it mm -hmm. before it's slurping on the battery and the battery's shriveling up. Well, the thing is, Lawrence, those type of things, I don't, when I, when I go to the airport, I don't give them, I don't no give them any room to think. Down. What happened? Repeat that. What's I don't give thing? them any room to think. So I go and I wear sneakers that are untied sweatpants. I don't care what kind of flight it is or where it's going, I'm in sweatpants. Easy I, access I, to I, move I around. You want me to no belt? And that's, I don't have that that's, problem. I can flip the shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 it's if, like it's like a uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. Sebastian Maniscalco, comedian Sebastian Maniscalco, does a bit yeah. just on that ermine. Oh. Well, okay, okay. It, it, dude, we used to we used to dress up to fly. We used yes. to like this is an occasion, man. Yes. Jesus Christ, people come, man. They bang right out of bed, bunny slippers and all. Okay, <laughs> now, yeah. Now I, I'll tell yeah. you. I, I, I can deal with that. I can deal with that because it's the same walk past my window every day. People go into the store dressed <laughs> in their pajamas. So what difference does it make, right? <laughs> but what really gets me on the plane is when people take off their shoes. I, I Look, I got it. Take off your shoes and sit right where you are. Don't go to the restroom oh. in stocking or bare feet. Mm. Please. Yeah, Please. that's nasty. I, I haven't seen that's that. nasty. That's like walking oh, no, through no, the subway no, no. station. Way too often. I, I take it's like I walking through the start. subway with no shoes on, man. That's nasty. Lawrence, well, you well if you're walking through the subway with no yet. shoes, there's probably a bigger problem, Lawrence. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've either had them stolen, you're drunk yeah. out your mind. Hey, what's up, Night Train? You're drunk out your mind. Usually the second one. You're homeless. Or well, but that sneaker monkey on your back got the best of you, and that's why you're homeless, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sneakers, three, four, five hundred. Come on, Rob, why? Russell, oh, please, please. please. And where they're kept in saran wrap, in mm -hmm. shrink wrap, mm -hmm. okay? Because you can't break them open. Because once they're worn, they don't hold the same value. So I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I chose not to put my investments in uh, footwear. Okay. Well, I can't say that actually. I, I did marry a Melba Marcos, uh, my little Filipino bride. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're that's lucky a you're not. Story. Okay, you're lucky you're not married story. to one. I, 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 I think. No, my uh, no uh, I, 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 my. Hey, Asgard. My Steve. wife. My wife is. My wife is Filipina, and yes, it does run in the race. Okay, <laughs> she does have a uh, shoe addiction. Um. What do you say is genetic? And uh, you know, genetic. but but I know there is a I know there is a god because she's got a size four and a half shoe, so she can't oh, fit in every good. shoe. Oh, so goodness. we don't own yeah. every shoe. A four and a half, yo. Okay. Yeah. Wow, yeah, but you gotta you, you gotta realize I mean, she's she's only four eleven. Okay, so it, it works. Uh, but uh, the the thing that gets me is I'm a uh, I'm a depot now for. The Amazon and, and all packages. I think they all get delivered just to my house on this block. Okay. <laughs> now, when my wife, you know, the big thing was when, you know, when you really didn't do online shopping for clothes or footwear, we uh -huh. would go to shoe stores and right away, nah, the smallest we carry is five and a half. Uh, you know, so uh, I used to get away with it. But right. once my wife found out, you could order shoes online, try oh, them on, crap. and if they don't fit yeah, them right smart. in the box and put a label on them and ship them right back out, uh -huh. that was nothing but enabling. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing if she's peering at me right now. But uh, oh. yeah, so uh, yeah, used to good. have a two car garage, but uh, shoes took over a good portion of that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yo, wow. So you got room for the bikes? <laughs> Badly, dude. 
barely. <laughs> I'm glad the, the shoes don't have to travel everywhere with us, okay? At least not every pair, but, you know, yeah. there's usually a collection on board of some type. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, TSA put a stop to some of that, too. Look, but, look, you know what? Airlines, oh, you know what I like TSA put a stop mm-hmm. to? The airlines and TSA are putting a stop to the service animals. I mean, the peacocks yes, and the uh, and the miniature yes. horses and the... Uh, Yes, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not sorry. Uh, I don't first off, I don't think you can keep a miniature horse in a crate. And at some point in time that miniature horse is going to have to relieve himself. And I don't care what ticket you paid for on that plane. It ain't going to work, okay? So, I, I mean, people have taken all kinds of things on board, and they worry about us drone pilots, right? I, right. I've you know seen, what? I've I... said they barred okay. a lady. She got upset because she had a pet peacock, mm-hmm. and she said it was her, what was that, comfort? Um, uh, it, it's, a comfort it? It? it's a comfort animal. Oh, yes. It, it's it, a service it, service well, animal. It's a comfort animal. Yeah. But, for that? Listen, they told her, lady, you're not taking that thing on the plane. And she immediately went into a hissy and oh, the, right away it's going to get her said she did not get on the plane Rounded. and they walking away with the peacock behind her. Well, um, you know what my problem with the well, whole well, thing is, is if they protest too much, they ban them. Mm-hmm. The noise that, that it could potentially make and the fact that okay, Tom, you remember we you remember the circus and they had it at the garden and stuff like that. Ask anybody, you know. Oh, yeah, three rings, baby. The garden when they had the circus. When some of those animals. What's up, like, Eddie? Hey, what's up, Eddie? Like yeah. when an elephant or a horse. Oh, dude, 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 dude. One. I, I'm... Yo, Lawrence, it is like a hose broke, and you got to get out of the way because it's going well, to wash you up to your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, it. it, it it's funny because I remember as a, as a kid or as a teenager uh, having to take my younger brother mm-hmm. to uh, Flushing Meadows uh, for the, I think it was Big Apple Circus okay. uh, that was being held in Flushing Meadows. And of course, they had a side sideshow menagerie petting zoo, right? Mm-hmm. And I kept on telling my, uh, my younger brother. Stay away from the llama. Stay away from the llama. Stay away from. Of course not. He couldn't. And llamas have a tendency of spitting on yes, you. Yes, they do. Yes, and boy, do. did he wear it. Did he wear it? Okay. And I made him sit three seats away from me. I, I made him ride on the other end of the number seven train. Okay. Oh. On the way home. Uh, and he cried most of the time. So, yeah, that's my, you know, look, uh, when a, uh, just when a horse a classic lets loose mm-hmm. okay so so let alone you know any other thing is do we really need these animals on board okay listen what you know and now it is if, used to put them if in it is a certified plane. service dog mm-hmm. if it's a certified service dog and now uh i think it's three airlines now have come out and said only dogs, dogs. qualify yeah. Okay, only Good. dogs, and they have to be qualified service dogs. Okay, so you know, listen, that's some of the service animals that I have seen, problem you got to create it's, them, you it's have it's to create them, and they have to go into live cargo. Mm-hmm. I like, yeah. no, no, I it's like too many animals. people on board. I like animals right. of all types, but seriously, what happened to the day when they went into the belly of the plane and you came out on the other side when you got off the plane? Because yeah, I've well, there's this live, there's live as a service storage. animal. How's a yeah. squirrel a service animal, man? How's a peacock a service animal or, or well, comfort animal? I don't know. To each his own, to each his own. I mean, but keep it, keep it to yourself, please. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> That's crazy. Eddie Nunez, I'm um, I'm having a problem with with Eddie. actually one one soldering point, but once I get past that tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll, I should be good to go. I already powered it up and it sounds good. I have to plug it in a beta flight and flash the, so the um, it. flash it. And then after that, it should be okay. At so least hypothetically. It. Yep. You got, it. you got it to stay down. But, uh, huh? Well, sure. I, I, I know I was stay down. It's just a fact of life. Yeah. Bro. Okay. <laughs> Younger brothers. Uh, well, look, when, when, Herman, you got a story a little later that we when we cover about drone rescue, right? Uh, 
Well, when, uh, actually, <laughs> that yeah, that's actually, we got to bring Eddie on this that's one. That's actually man, the first story that you actually mentioned. It's not much of a story. It was just like a few guys, a couple of guys, three guys, I believe the story said that uh, they were out hanging out, flying their drones, and one of the I'll guys. I'll show the video while you're know, talking about it. What happened? I'll show the video while you're talking about it. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. yeah. Three guys were out flying. This, I believe, happened a couple of years ago. But, uh, they were out flying, and one of the guys, he lost signal. He said in the article he lost connection, but he lost signal, and he hit the return to home button, and the drone came back to position, but when it started to descend, he didn't realize that it was coming down over those uh, lines there, and it got caught on the line and, <laughs> and got caught up there. So they came up with this idea to rig this up, and his friend took his uh, Mavic Pro, or the, the Mavic Pro Two, and yeah. and up and with that little hook on it, and hooked his zoom and got him down. He actually lifted him up right up off the line and brought him down. Yeah, that's it. Actually, showing right now, where he little device and and he wind up bringing him down. Now see. That means no drone left behind. So, uh, Eddie, I, you know, Eddie just posted a video. And we know what that's at, uh, right? Today. <laughs> Eddie just posted a yeah. video today. And uh, if you turn around and go check out Eddie's video, uh, what is really, really funny there, right? Timing is everything. Check the 735 mark. Watch the whole video. The whole video is great. But but from the 735 mark, watch uh, as uh, Eddie has to perform a, uh, a drone rescue himself. Okay? <laughs> he, uh, he had to rescue his FPV drone. Okay. He was out at Wantaw State Park. Yeah. And his FPV wandered into the pool area uh -oh. and uh, took a header, not in the pool, luckily. And Eddie had to send in the Mavic for the rescue mission with the coat oh. hanger. So uh, I, okay. I put up the link, uh, Lawrence, if you if you grab that, at the 735 mark is where you start, where you see him flying into that area. Okay, and, uh, hold on. I got to go the header. I, I, I would definitely show that. I got to copy the link because what it does is take me out of the show and out of the chat. And once I have it, copy. Hey, Trey, what's I good, man? It. All right, I'm back in, so I'll be I'll be able to set it up. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to to do that, but you know yeah, what's again, funny about drone rescue when you get a chance after the show, watch the whole video. But definitely check it out now at the 7:35 mark. Okay. 7:35 it is. Come yeah, at the 7:35 you could start it. So Eddie's rescuing drones now. Eddie's rescue. I said Eddie. I I, I said to Eddie on on. Is uh, I left a comment. I think it's a new business opportunity. DRS hey, Drone Rescue Eddie's, Services. Eddie, yes. Eddie's, Eddie's drone tow trucks. What's the time? Seven thirty-five. Truck service. Look, look. I got seven thirty-five. We All we right. either rescue it with the coat hanger from the tree, or we cut the damn tree down one way or the other. We get your drone back, right? All right. I Do started at seven. I start. I'll start it at seven twenty. Seven twenty-nine. Volkswagen commercial. I think when they were going from, I believe when the Mark IV series came out on their on their models, and they had the uh, the guy with the when they introduced the new GTIs. Yeah, yeah. it's coming and, up uh, now, Eddie. The guys were there by the tree, and he's throwing his shoe up there to try to knock the car out of the tree. Yeah, about out of the tree, like, right? Out of so Eddie's flying Tom. into the Eddie's flying into the pool area right now. Okay. And, uh, oh, I has, saw the wire. Some, I saw has, the has wire. Some, yeah, has some difficulty, and uh, as a result of that difficulty, uh, unfortunately, uh, the FPV drone is rendered uh, uh, inoperable. Oh no, no. Hey, I think he used turtle uh, and, uh, mode, and he keeps now. Oh. Now watch. Keep oh, there running. it is. Keep running it. Yeah, yeah. Keep running it. <laughs> there and, he and is. See, he uh, he has to send up the uh, Mavic uh, uh, to make the uh, to to make the grab. Yeah, I see okay. right here. Some kind of like and, hip tie set Yeah, yeah, he's got it. You know, he's working. <laughs> and he's got to get it positioned over what? What are the arms in, right? He has these zip ties to make a triangle. Luckily, you pack yeah. zip ties. Now, and, we all should have a coat props. hanger. Mm -hmm. We all need a coat hanger in the car, man. Okay? <laughs> we all need a coat hanger, a couple of tie wraps. Come on, man. 
you know, look, and, and hold on, hold on. And FP- hey, hold on, Tom. Tom, I want to go back because these two guys, lucky there was a fence between you and this drone because these two guys with the dog looked like they was about to take your shit. Keep watching and hear what a drone is. Just as you go in the air, you see two guys with a dog walk over. Like, damn, he got it. <laughs> Hold on, keep watching. I'll, I'll pause it as soon as the guys are on screen. Now, he's got it hooked, right? And he's about to go up in the air. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then the camera swings towards the fence. And you see these people standing there on the other side of the oh, fence. Oh, they were right watching. Here. Yeah, yeah, they were watching. <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. This is a show. <laughs> Come on. Look at him finesse. Look, watch him finesse the, you know, he, he, he gets it hooked around what? One of the arms and. Uh, yeah, usually one of the prop. arms and, a, and catches a prop or something. Props. Yeah. And catches a prop or ledges on the motor. And then uh, you make your lift. The <laughs> Mavic's a very, very capable bird, man. Oh, for rescue? Yes. There he goes. Absolutely. Now, oh, these guys were with him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I come from New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you learn to pick your stuff up quick in New York, because if you don't, someone else will. I'm just saying. <laughs> Find his keepers. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> but we have... So, the, you know, that's timely, right, Herman? I mean, you know, we, we talked about the drone. Yeah, Eddie, come on, man. Drone Rescue Service. That used to happen. <laughs> we go, baby. One guy told me not to climb the fence. Okay, you see what they, a lot of times I, well, that's similar to what happened to John. The firemen told him they could not use their ladder mm-hmm. to go up and rescue his drone or something to that effect. You know the Coney Island Tower, it has a base that's right. about two yeah. stories high to the yeah. Coney Island parachute ride. Well, yeah. he had hit his drone and it crashed up there. Come to find out when he went back two days later to try and rescue it, he got the guy that was doing construction in the yard to take his cherry picker over there. But it didn't dawn on him that when he was leaving, when he was coming in, the firemen were leaving. The, mm-hmm. He believes the firemen went up and got his bird because they were just leaving and they were chuckling at him as they went by. So... <laughs> <laughs> this Sucks was another, to be him, huh? another day from the day that he got it caught up there no that's the, same, the day? same day that's the same thing that's the same <laughs> event but he had the guy from the cherry picker come all the way from the work site what's up matt come on hey, from the work site and then the guy got up there with the cherry pick and he's like damn it's gone the fireman got it and 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 listen listen that's the casualty of flying fpv they would have had a, the blades off and left the bricks in New York. Wells Rob. See, <laughs> see, see, see. Left it up on a cinder block. They would have had it on a cinder block by itself, on a right? Cinder block. Okay. Just one. <laughs> just one block. We don't need four. <laughs> just one teetering on the edge. Uh huh. <laughs> or since it was small enough on a brick, not even a How cinder you, block. They would have had right, it on a red brick. Leave it Salute, on Tom. The soda can. Uh-huh. Hey, Tom, you had mentioned or brought something to my attention about this uh, parachute system. Well, again, uh, you know, I saw this thing on, uh, it was raised on one of the uh, mm-hmm. uh, commercial uh, newsletters I get. And it was a uh, parachute, a restockable parachute, self-restockable parachute for the Mavic series. Okay. And they said it was for the Mavic 2, the Mavic Original, and the Mavic What's Air. up, Stevie? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Uh, hey, Stevie, what's up, brother? Uh, so more, I looked more. I looked into it, and uh, unfortunately, all, all roads lead to uh, uh, Shenzhen, China, okay. of course. Mm-hmm. Of okay. course. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ecosystem known as uh, DJI World. Yeah. And... Uh, only available through bangyougood.com. Okay, oh, so oh, Tom. So if you order it right now, it should be here in about 11 and a half months. Or um, if you're lucky, <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll be good for the spring when you get back out there. Yeah, but again, we're talking about bang you good. So this is you it. Never get lucky. Yeah. No, you no, never no. get lucky with that. Let me tell you something. Okay. This is how... Rape is never lucky, dude. Tom, Rape is this... never lucky. Okay. Hey, Tom, this is how it goes at bang you good. Now, they have a level system from one okay. to six. 
I'm, I'm at, a, at a level four, VIP level four, whatever they want to call it. And if I order from Bang You Good, that'll get it to me in two weeks. Mm -hmm. But when I first started with Bang You Good and I didn't know what I was doing and I was trying to buy cheaper drones because they were cheaper than buying here in the United States, mm -hmm. you could wait as long as a month and a half, two months. Yeah. To get your See, stuff. but the problem I found with this so company is not order. everything materializes. You you wind up well, getting. I've gotten tons of out of stock. Not everything works. And, yeah. Well, yeah. and that's the other thing. Now, now this parachute device, <laughs> it, it's uh, it basically straps to the top of the Mavic. That's true, Night it, Train. It has to be. It has to be charged. It says the charge is good. I think it said for about two hours worth of flight time. Okay. And what it does is it's got sensors in it so that if the drone starts to fall mm -hmm. in a specific manner, right, the chute will activate yeah. and, of course, slow the velocity, mm -hmm. the descent right. velocity of the drone and should result in little to no damage or harm to others, right? Okay. It doesn't allow now. Now you know most of these systems now, see that green are hundreds and better. hundreds and hundreds of dollars, what and happened? it costs you hundreds of dollars to get them. You know, uh, reset. Okay. This says it can be reset in the field. Okay, by the operator, and oh, okay. it goes for I think eighty eighty eight dollars. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, but uh. <laughs> Who that, wants to who wants to take the chance and uh, buy it and try it on and see if it works or not? You know, remember you can pull those two sticks out, disable those props, well, just it, see if the parachute opens. It comes packed, right? When you first get it, it comes packed. Yeah, and then they then yeah. they then say you, that you can repack you, it, and then you take. Your oh, I think we buy one and send it. it to X. I think we buy <laughs> one and send it to X. Yeah, yeah right. We'll we'll try try He's like Mikey we'll from the Life Cereal commercial. Yeah, he'll try okay. anything. <laughs> yeah, but, but he'll try you know, anything. My, we could my send that. To is the repacking. I guess if you follow. Well, remember, so you. you know. Well, the first thing is you'll have to recover the top cap on mm -hmm. this device. Okay. So it's okay. not going to be and, like uh, the little guy that you used to get back in the day that came with the, the little army man. No, the, the little green, the man. little green soldier. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> not going to work like that. You got to pack it right. <laughs> Yeah, almost put out my cousin's eye with one of those guys. Okay, the shoot. I just said the shoot never opened. It was a malfunction. Okay. It at him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, hey, you want to hear okay. something funny? I remember playing with the army man, right? With the shoot, and I would throw it, and the shoot would pop. And I throw it in the shoot, and would pop. And my friend was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Yeah, you know, it's the army man with a parachute. You know, you don't have one." And he's like, "No, nah, let me check it out." So. I, I prepared a shoot. Now I had did this five or six times, right? I prepared a shoot and I, I wrap it the way it's supposed to and fold it and I throw it and the army man in a shoot went across the street. It never deployed. Mm. <laughs> you, you know those um, never deployed, man. You know I, those I, things I, that, that spin? Those little cheapy toys that you spin it like oh, this yeah. and it takes off oh, the like whirly one, birds. one little prop, right? Yeah. Whirly birds. Whirly birds, yeah. I, I was with my son in uh, Seaside in Jersey. And we were playing all those games and you got to do all these things and you get tickets and then you get all the little cheapy toys. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. So we just walk out of the place and I'm just showing them how it works, you know, just testing it out. And the first one, it takes off and it lands on the roof of the game place. <laughs> we never even got to, you never even got to play with it. And there, was, and there was mad people on the boardwalk that witnessed the whole thing. They all started laughing. Had random people laughing around us and stuff. I was like, damn. We didn't go that that poor I kid didn't even get to happen. play with it. I watched that happen to a kid here. Hey, a, hey, Tom, Eddie sent you a message. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, first... Eddie, wants, Eddie wants us to take that long drive out to uh, Montauk. I, yeah, I got no problem, okay. Eddie. You know, just realize that long drive starts at like 4 a.m. in the morning, man. That's how yeah, because you know what? It, it, and this is this may yeah. be why we haven't flown together yet, Eddie, but before COVID, I used to wake up the roosters. Now I'm waiting to hear the rooster, and, and then I start waking up. But 
Oh, Eddie and I have. I want to we, fly. We've, I, we've no, broken I dawn a few Eddie, times. Yeah, but Eddie be out out mad early, man. It, it, yeah, well, out, it's the way to do it, right? No, hey, no, you know, no, I, no. I've started. You need my that day light, man. In the dark it, to get yeah. a shot. Oh yeah, I started oh, yeah. my day in the yeah. dark. You know, absolutely. We've done that. At yeah. twenty four hours. We spot. have. Well, if you're going we've out to Montauk, that. if you're going out to Montauk from from the boroughs, then you're definitely starting it uh, in the dark, right? Yeah, you, you want to get to. out there, man. There's nothing, to. nothing more awesome than uh, oh, that, that sunrise got, over the Atlantic with the Montauk Bob, White, Casey. Uh, Lighthouse. We'll meet Bob, at three Casey, we're, in the we're, yes, we are drone crazy yeah. here in New York. Got to do it. <laughs> if you only <laughs> knew how many people on a daily basis fly drones, and I'm not even talking about FPV, just camera drones here in the five boroughs. I'm not talking upstate New York in the mountains where it's snowing and all of that. Just in the five boroughs alone, you would be amazed at the numbers. Mm -hmm. it, it's funny that you say that, Lawrence, because that video that we showed earlier, the one with the guy rescuing the drone, when I, when I saw that and I saw where they were at, I was looking to see if I knew the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you know where it is, right? Yeah. By, the, by the teardrop. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But um, Stevie, like you were mentioning about that, going straight up into the tree. A couple of years ago, I took the uh, the Phantom over to Prospect Park. And uh, this kid, he goes, oh, you got a drone. I got a drone. I got a drone. He was with his mother. They put it <laughs> down. They turned it on. And it went up right into the tree. <laughs> and, and, and what makes it so crazy is that I put the drone down. I turned it on. I backed up. I did the whole compass calibration. He started up and just like right into the tree. And by the <laughs> time he started screaming, oh, I'm stuck in the tree. I was like, sticks together. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm telling you, uh, some of these drones should be listed as tree ornaments because they don't even make it that far. They don't make it past up in a tree morning. and then they stay up there as, as, as decor. <laughs> tree ornaments, indoor tree ornaments, most of them. Yeah, man. Well, don't I don't know far. about you guys, but. It, it this Christmas I didn't do it because because I was sick and everything. But last year on Christmas Day, I just stood in my front yard and looked around just to see if I could see out of control drones. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, You're run because around in with my a neighborhood, net, like in my, right in my neighborhood. I knew some <laughs> people that lived a few blocks away that were like, "Yo, man, I'm going out tomorrow morning to fly a drone," and I'm like, "Dude." You should learn to fly first. Learn first, yeah. Not as simple as it looks. Because if it was that simple, everybody could do it. My neighbor saw it's me. like golf. I that taught myself true? how to play golf. And I'm going to let you know something. There's such a thing called muscle memory, mm -hmm. all right, where you do it enough and your body automatically does it. Like Tiger Woods, mm -hmm. he can step up with a five iron and knock the ball 200 and something yards. Right now, I have not hit a golf ball, ball in over a year. I probably dig a divot in the ground so deep you could probably bury a mouse in it. <laughs> you know, but but you have to learn how to you have to learn how to do certain things in a certain order, or else when you do do it, you mess up. Like in here's the country. only thing. Here's the only words of encouragement I would give. I would give everybody. Uh, look at us. We did it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. we were all there. We were all there. It's attainable. There. It's attainable. Okay. If we, we were all there at one time. Rocket point. Science. So when uh, you see, but you gotta you, you, you look. You, you got to invest a little. You got to invest. I mean, you know, look, we we have a tendency of throwing away the instructor's manual. You know, when we're unpackaging just about anything. You know what? Then take the time. Get on YouTube. You know, look. It, it, it's instant gratification. You want to put that thing up as soon as you can. But these days, man, you usually order it online so you you got a day or two before it comes in mm -hmm. go be a sponge and jump on youtube and learn about it you know and protect your investment yeah, watch some video we're not talking about a hundred dollar drone here you can crash into the bathroom uh uh toilet you know <laughs> we're talking about something that's 15 1500 bucks you know so Hey, if that's growing on trees for you, God bless you. Hey, okay? listen, it must go be nice. buy a hundred and give them out to a few people. It must be okay, nice. but uh, that's not who we are. Home. I mean, if it does, post your address in the chat. No, they're not toys. They're <laughs> quite capable. <laughs> oh, Lena, pick yeah. stuff off the tree. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it, uh, that's I, exactly I think it. it's great. 
you know, Bob Casey, your grandson wants to fly. That's, you know, but the thing is like with the right guidance, okay. Uh, that can be a very rewarding experience. It, it all comes down to, you know, investing the time in it. It's, and it, it, uh, what it I'm is, saying is, it, it is, I, I agree with you know, that. There's, there's, but a know, toy drone is a lot like, you know, look, what you yeah, say? A toy drone is exactly that a toy drone. Yes, but it's a toy important. drone is worth the investment. It's worth the investment to show someone the base. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But come on, let's be honest with each other. You walk into, yeah, I'm going to say it, guys, Best Buy. <laughs> and, and you're going to buy that nice, beautiful DJI box because that's what you heard about. Okay. Now, if I walk into Walmart, I'll probably see something that looks like that DJI drone. Oh, no. And Walmart no sells DJI now. Okay. No, no. But I'm saying the one <laughs> yeah, I pick yeah. up for 88 bucks. Right. Yeah, okay. Right in front unless I wait for the sale day, then it's 60 You mean the one that flies oh, like this just because it wants to? Let's do a <laughs> let's do a quick survey from the panel. Mm -hmm. How many people bought their first drone from Best Buy in this panel? DJI. Not yeah. me. I did. No. My first Phantom Four was from Best Buy. Yeah. Yeah. So Microsoft. you guys got it from where? <laughs> B and H. Uh, no. And my first show. drone. My first. <laughs> so drone, I'm, uh, no, my I'm first drone wasn't junkie, even Stevie. Stevie, my when I started flying with NYC Five yeah, Barrel, I had the my buy first drone was a 3DR Solo. I got that straight yeah. from the company. Oh, you got it from the the, the website. Right. And, and then and I, I found got my, out. Huh? Yeah, I got my first drone at the Photo Expo at the Javits in. Mm -hmm. Oh, get out of 19, here! Nineteen in two thousand. Two thousand. You said 19, what? 10? <laughs> I want to see dude, that drone. Calm yourself. <laughs> calm yourself, man. Was it like a calm hamster? Not, was the hamster running the wheel? <laughs> dude. That four dude, hamsters. It had, a, it had a big, long, it had a big, long rubber band. Okay. And a little you had conveyor to belt. Spin it a few times. Okay. It had a and lighter. Me, Stevie. But Stevie, those balsa, those balsa <laughs> planes, those, and now I'll tell you really how old I am. Oh, those <laughs> 15, 15 cent balsa planes started my aviation uh, oh. experience. Okay. Uh, well, you talking uh, about uh, 19, We used what? to buy those and we used to modify <laughs> them and we used to put, we used to weaponize them. Okay. Wow. You would take those balsa planes. You would put lighter fluid on them, light them up, and send them. I mean, no, you, we did all Tom, kinds of things with Before those. we get to okay? the next story, before we get to Herman's next story, you, I grew up in a project, so six-story building. Yeah. And back then, we were building the balsa wood planes. And a friend of mine was like, what would happen if you tied a bottle rocket to one? Mm -hmm. So what we would do is... I would light the bottle rocket and launch it and it would cruise like this. Then the bottle rocket would kick in and would take off. Like, and then of course it would explode on impact. So, right. But if yeah. you put yeah. the bar bottle rocket along the fuselage, perfect on either side of the fuselage, because balsa right. wood was just a beam like this, a beam like this, a tail, mm -hmm. and that was it. But they were glidable, but you would yeah. throw it and either yeah. would do a loop depending on how you cut the wood or it would fly straight and it would fly straight. We would launch them off the roof. It would fly yeah. straight. And then a bottle rocket would kick in and would take off and did, kick in and it go it in the air and blow and up. You know, yeah. uh, I, I went to a, I went to a high school here in New York city called aviation high school. Okay. Familiar with and it, name, it's yeah. a vocational What's high up, school for those of you mm -hmm. that don't know. New York city has a bunch of vocational high schools as well. Yeah. And right. I went to aviation <laughs> high school and and the thing we did is when in, in your freshman year, your exploratory shop was in, in woodworking, you built the spa for a wing. In in sheet metal, you actually built a little Cessna out of sheet metal. Okay. Of course, after you built that sheet metal plane, you sailed it out of the fourth story window into the hangar yard. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and, and then, of course, you kept your trophy, your banged up trophy. Now, what we did with the spa was we had to make three spas in woodworking shop. And then when we became uh, sophomores, we then had to make a wing section 
and put those three spars together and create a wing. Okay. And, and then an advanced sheet metal, create an aileron and control surfaces. And, and again, after we doped them up and we painted them and you put your own logos on them, we still sailed them off the, the roof of the. Yeah. 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 That, that was the whole, the that was the whole deal. <laughs> okay. So, so I, I think the message as a as a kid and you know i can't i can't speak for the female population but as a boy whatever you did you you weren't done until you destroyed it okay <laughs> you know i mean gi joe's and, and those little green army men i and we blew those things up with firecrackers you thanks know, bob re- casey you know reenact you battle scenes with uh with that kind of stuff that was that was the right of passage bob. growing up Ray, I know you. I know you blew up some stuff in your heydays, bro. Well, listen, <laughs> I was just in high school too, the aviation high school in East New York. But yeah, I got, I got, I ain't get a beating, but I took over. My pops bought a brand new TV. He went, they went to work. I came on. I was going crazy. I took the whole TV apart. <laughs> the tubes out and everything. The whole yo, but I thought I could have it back together by the time I got home. You had it together, Not right? That simple, huh? <laughs> uh-huh. My pops, my, pops, my pops was seven foot tall. It's like double, triple my hands, right? <laughs> he the door. Yeah, he really appreciated <laughs> that with all his hard-earned dollars. Check it out. As soon as he walked through the door, he just looked at me. He went right in there. Mom's made him get in everything. Now I'm sweating. I put that shit back together, though. And then he- <laughs> <laughs> I put it back together, put that on. He said, where the, where, the, where the core that? I said, plug it in. He put it in. He wanted to turn it on. So he told my mom, back up, back up. Because yeah. this shit blow up, I'm killing this kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just looked at me and shook his head and went about his business. He said, boy, you know if you didn't get that TV on, I was going to tear you up. I said, I know. Yeah. You got some skills, yeah. bro. Was, well, guys, we got another up. drone, a delivery drone in the news. Mm. And uh, award-winning... Drone manufacturer Dragonfly Incorporated established in Stevie 1998. <laughs> there you in go. Sac- Wait, Stevie, was that before you were born, Stevie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys. I see you strike back. The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Here we go, you know guys. It, in Sacatoot, Saskatchewan. Hmm. Has a they have a patent, right? For um a drone with a vertical takeoff and landing. Also, it has a variable center of gravity. Now, they say that this design is ideal for beyond visual line of sight flight and for the transporting of uh, goods to hard to reach areas. This is a patent. This also, is one of their patents. Also, the, it, it, um, it's, uh, they say it's ideal for flight over people and at night. So they're working on putting this all up there. And um, like I said, this patent is for an uh, unmanned aircraft system uh, configured for VTOL takeoff and landing. And it has a fixed wing operation. So once it takes off and it gets to its altitude, it actually, with the way that the motors are set on it, it swings the entire cargo as it, it changes, changes the, the center, center of, of gravity. gravity where the motors are actually located on it because they're, they're, they're fixed to the, the, the way the setup is, it's affixed to the, to the fuselage of the body. On right, the, and on it's the, the, one of the only drones out there that changes its center of gravity. Because the, the guy, I was watching a video on it, the guy was saying that most drones that take off vertically in order to move forward, tilt back. Yep. But because the wings and everything turn, it changes the center of gravity in the, in the cargo mm-hmm. compartment, which leaves it level like that. And, and also, this guy Dragonfly was saying, if there's a patent out there drone-wise, we probably came up with it. Well, they're it, the, yeah, they are the ones that gave Autel the, the, the patent for the, uh, the, with the issues with the, the, the wing, the, uh, the propellers that snap on and pop off. Yeah. And yeah. the uh, battery door compartment thing. That was where those patents had come from. Right. right. When I yeah. saw this, I thought it was a real interesting story. I thought you guys might like it. Yeah. Well, basically, what Lawrence was saying was, it maintains its level. Yes. Throughout yes. the whole process this is of actually, changing, yeah. This so is it never act- dips like usually drones would. This is a picture a of it point. right here. 
the the actual so the cargo is here in the middle and as the wings the tips of the wings actually turn it shifts the center weight of gravity forward and backwards according to the position of the wings yeah because it now has most yeah. most VTOLs that take off as the propellers are, are like this and start tilting forward the cargo leans back Exactly. And that throws the center of gravity off. So that's they like seem to have resolved that issue with this particular that's design. The Ospreys the same way. Yes, yes. The same way. Their motors do the same thing. They tip and all that. Right, yeah, and the car and the plane stays level yeah. right, with the Ospreys. And we've seen them here in New York yeah. with yeah. the president coming into town. They fly regularly uh, from the yeah. South Shore. Yeah. I seen them, the first time I seen them and the only time I seen them was in D.C. when I was visiting D.C. And I was right by the White House at the time. And uh, yeah, that, they, they, that thing is like, you feel it in your chest man. when it goes by, because it was flying pretty low. It just took off. That, that's a massive. Uh, the force of it just to take off like a like a Harriet, like up. You that's feel, it. You oh, feel it in your body as it goes past. Well, that's actually, we did a story a few months, actually before the new year, where there's an actual drone company that's trying to create a device that suppresses that noise. You know, like when a helicopter comes by, you don't mm. you hear it, but then when it gets closer, you actually feel the pressure change. Right. Well, this right. company's, at, I, I need to find the link, but this company's actually trying to come up with devices that will go on rooftops that will suppress that noise from VTOLs and, and drones that they well, fly you, over you have, the there, there's some, there's, there's a level of complexity there because you gotta realize what you're doing, like uh, especially, you're playing, it, it's you're not just with the air tilt. pressure. It, it, right, it's not just the tilt of these we see going on. Right, what you don't realize also is these are variable prip, uh, pitch right. propellers. So they change the angle of attack of the. It, it's a think of it this way: a dual roll airfoil. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're actually changing the angle of attack. Mm -hmm. on the airflow yeah. and so you can on either be motion, more yeah. aggressive right okay right, right. That's by of... your angle and changing that angle of attack at uh, at uh at just it's it's a tilt rotor because you have to change the angle of attack in two ways you change it both through the pitch and you change it both through the angle of the next cell okay right as it moves through actual airplane propellers, uh, actual airplane propellers do that actual airplane propellers do that well, you they get the prop turns control. like this. Uh, not all, not all, not all. There are fixed. There are yeah. fixed mm -hmm. pitch. Okay. There are things known as variable speed. Okay. Right. Propellers, right? Variable speed propeller is telling. Uh, basically, what's happening there is it, its pitch changes based upon airspeed. Mm -hmm. Because based upon airspeed depends on how dense. Okay. So there's a lot of factors that are going into it. You know, it's applied physics. Uh, but Think about so so when you talk, uh, Stevie, about feeling it in your chest, okay, those are propropters, they're called, okay, and and they're they're thirty eight feet long each, mm -hmm. so that's when you think about it, okay, uh, there's three of them on that on, on that prop, each engine yes, on, on that nacelle, right, okay. Uh, that that is some significant air pressure, like you said, Lawrence. Uh, about, that it's pushing. What yeah. about those uh those choppers you usually see in those Vietnam movies with the big gun in the middle? Those also have those adjustable Hueys. props. Oh, are those you talking are... about? Oh, okay. Well, they were Ueys. Okay, those but mm -hmm. well, they still because I seen those in Key West and mm -hmm. they seemed active. I don't know if, what they were doing. Are you they talking still about use them some, They still use them for transport. It was and, military. And I see Line soldiers. Are you talking sitting about? Inside? Yeah, but but I mean, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Are you talking about? It was a huge gun the, right in the middle. The the and Apache was, uh, the Apache you, helicopter. You can actually see through the the compartment. Basically, it was like an open compartment on the side, just like you see in those Vietnam movies, and they gun in everybody. Oh, okay, that's a that's a UH one. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, but if you're talking about something that looks almost like an insect, that would be uh, no, no, no. I that would be that Boeing's is. AH-64, the Apache helicopter. Yeah, the Apache uh, yeah, is yeah. a lot slimmer. If you remember well, the, that, uh, this that one, UH, 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 
Dash ones, or otherwise affectionately known as Hueys. Aren't I was going to say? Aren't isn't uh, that a predominant. Huey class? I was going to ask, wasn't that a Huey class? When you said Huey, yeah, well, no, not Huey class. It's known. No, no, it, it, it's uh, the the name Huey is not actually associated with the aircraft. It, right. it, it it's a derivative of the name uh, of the of the actual designation of the aircraft because the aircraft is actually an Iroquois. Okay. okay. Why did I know this shit? I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> it's a Bell U H one. Okay. <laughs> it's a Bell U H. It's a Bell U H one. U H U E. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's how all shit in the military happens. That's yeah. how all nicknames in the military happen. Okay. It's contank from something. Uh, but that's a nickname. And uh, so yeah, that's two large prop blades. Okay. And not only are they long, but they're pretty wide. Yeah. That thing has so, base. That so thing has you base. Can that's feel that's, you, that's you a sound. Feel that. Well, yes. that's a sound. Yeah. That's another you one. Know, you know it's coming. You know it's a Yui. That is so can intimidating. Tell, I don't think people you can realize tell that a Yui, by seeing it on TV. Like, yeah, you can. That thing coming over you in the woods. Tell You can tell a Yui. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> it's a unique, unique sound. Yeah. That's, that thing flew really low on me. In Key West, uh, a few years little, back, and I thump. you feel it, man. yeah. I felt the doot, doot, doot. I felt it coming, yeah. yeah. That's the two players <laughs> going together at the same time because yeah. it's changing the air pressure around. And 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 that's in Vietnam, they were popular because you would hear about 10 uh, there was seen of these coming. It was it was the air cav, <laughs> yeah. right? It, it was the air cavalry, um, and uh, you know, they it was it, it was that was intimidating. It changed a lot of this. I mean, it, you know, it, it was the troop carrier. It was a troop carrier. It, yeah. it was your uh, medevac. Okay. It was your supplier. It was just everything okay. in between, man. Uh, it's yeah. crazy. Like the, uh, like the and there's the so corner, many of them everything. still in service. Hey, Herman, real quick. There are, there are so many got, of them still in service. This next story you got coming up, I'm going to ask you, Ray, you, Matt, you, Tom, and you, Stevie, no, like they do on. Uh, I already know your answer, Herman. <laughs> With the story coming up, would you fly in this thing? But um, before that, that's tomorrow, all I'm gonna say. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow happens to be Thursday, and tomorrow yes. happens to be Stevie's birthday. So yes, I'd like to get a drop. Oh, and if oh, you get a drop and a and shot, I'd have to go get a drop. I mean, birthday. I'd have to go get a shot. I got a little shot all right, well, yeah. I'll catch it after the story. Yeah, yeah. all right, cool. Well, anyhow, GM has unveiled a Cadillac brand flying car. Yes. No. The sleek no. and beautiful EV tall passenger vehicle. This That's is her right EV. here. <laughs> That's Cadillac, guys. Could be right there. The company's concept for transportation. Now, so on. here's the thing <laughs> right now, Fire. that vehicle only seats one person. Yep. And they're working on a two-seater vehicle. Now, what this reminded me of was the uh, the E-Hang. But some of the features that are well, on that, if you notice, there's a vehicle right next to it. Yeah, the, that's the right. The way here. they market it is you land in that and you jump in that there. With yeah, the, yeah. The one is that an ambulance? Um, that's it's Cadillac. Right that's Cadillac, dude. <laughs> that's all Cadillac. Is now, it a Cadillac well, ambulance? <laughs> no, it's, it's actually... Basically, like uh, marketed towards you and the family for a vacation. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm joking. But um, they um, they they both feature a glass uh, roof and a uh, biometric sensors that they use to take your vitals and they use the information to control temperature and lighting in the cockpit and cabin of those those vehicles. Hey, what's up, Fly Natural? Now that thing, it's, uh, it's a it's a Herman, a it's a probe. It's a yeah. probe you actually have to insert into your rectum. Uh, no, when you enter the no, vehicle, so this way it can sense. <laughs> Listen, all I can say is, and the reason <laughs> accurate I, I, body I asked, temperatures are important, dude. Would you guys hey, listen? They do the wrist and the forehead at the doctor. <laughs> think about it. Would you guys get into this vehicle? Seriously, right. I'm trying to get this thing to disappear off the screen sure so that? I could pull it up. Hold on, let me pull it up first, and then the little video go back to the picture. The bottom. It's right. in the bottom of the article. I get. I ain't flying in nothing. That a pilot ain't flying. So, uh, airplane pilot ain't flying. I, I ain't flying nothing. 
Well, they say they want to add a passenger to this one and maybe have one big enough for guests. But I'm going to tell you something. Look at the design of this. It's crazy. Obviously. Okay. Look at this right here, standing next to a human. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Well, if you want to get me in this damn that. thing, you better <laughs> knock me out and not be around when I wake up. So, you know, I, <laughs> this, there's stipulations. There's stipulations. If I, I would fly it right. if I could stay at least four feet off the ground only. You know what I mean? Like just cruise, or maybe not go even. over traffic, no, go over some Stevie cars. Williams. Too Stevie's much in the way, it. Stevie. Too much in the way. You Stevie's. know, the way the way they showed it, the guy went off the building. I yeah. said, I'm not going off a building. <laughs> if well, that, how else is it going to work? No, just fly over. And then if there's traffic, I'll fly over Stevie, them. Stevie, let me explain something to you. <laughs> you're not going out by yourself is what you're saying. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie thinks he's flying a hovercraft. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do the... Uh, Hold on. Let me, get to something to, let me get something to drink. I'll be you back. So you're not Look, going so, out so by the, yourself. He, he, so so here's, here's one thing I'm going to tell you about Cadillac Concepts. Hey, hey. They, they, they take usually 30 years to materialize. Uh -huh. Okay? So... Well, that's how so, long yeah. FAA is going to take to approve it. Uh, I, I think I'll fly <laughs> that 30 years from now. Oh, I, I probably won't even know I was flying at that point if I'm still around. So, so <laughs> look, yeah. look, look how long the FAA is taking yeah. to figure out the little drones that are flying around now. <laughs> Imagine something that big. Well, <laughs> take years. So, right now, like I said, you know, a lot of these big, well, the military actually has something like this now. And EHANG has get, is getting approval for their vehicles like this so anything's possible you know yes Whether Marcel, it's ready to navigate you. in america's airspace <laughs> if there's too many competitors know. You know, look, uh, the problem the problem with the automotive industry is they got to get their act together on the ground, especially American car companies. Well, especially okay? General Motors. They got you know, oh, please. They got to get their act together. That, I know what that uh, compressor cost for my airbags in the back of my truck. I, I and when when that went bad, I'm like, all the shit that goes wrong on the damn truck. No truck. I'm like, yo, you're gonna fly me. I'm like, this is gonna happen with the Cadillac flying thing. Is things mm -hmm. gonna go wrong like that? In the air. I'm yeah. I'm ready, Herman. We could do a you, drop you, in a shot now. You don't want to hear a bad sensor in the air. Cause you know sometimes the sensors go bad and it's something like s silly like it, it doesn't even control like uh make a difference yeah, when that, you drive but it still puts the light that on that engine dash. that engine warning light in this yeah you don't, you don't want that in the middle of the air right you, Stevie, you coming be, off a I'll building be, i'll be truthfully <laughs> honest with you if they would have said ford i wouldn't even have done the story <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to check engines at, at freaking nine if you, any, you know anybody that got a town car and you look, go to the corner, one of those town car corner, you hear the relays clicking and popping. <laughs> so imagine, and popping at the corner. Imagine one of those things flying Every past you. one of those four. Clicking. Oh, give me one second. Give me one second. <laughs> you don't want to hear clicking <laughs> when you're in the air. <laughs> oh, nah. It ain't for me, guys. Matt. It's Matt. birthday no. tomorrow. Woo. Oh, Matt's got to go get for Matt for Matt to come back. Oh, Matt. Yeah, but... um. Yeah, Steve, you how are you gonna be now? Maybe 15, with a yeah, around there. Maybe with a, a Stevie. Maybe with a parachute. Nah, not even with a parachute. Man, Stevie, forget it. Oh, they first were. of all, Stevie, you made a mistake. You are a decent drone pilot, and you notice know when you said you would want you would hover four feet off the ground. You know there's more stuff to hit down low than there is up high. Imagine you're just cruising along, and because the sensors are so sensitive, a bird flies by and that thing they wire. Four mm. feet off the ground, you're gonna Listen. get hit, hurt a lot worse than than, than dropping Listen. off that building. At least I you have, get off the building. Your surface you friction is a, is a lot worse that low with that yeah. thing. I have yeah. I have a really good primary doctor. I'm sure he could put it back together. Oh, in <laughs> other words, your insurance is paid for the month. Four feet, four feet, but nine stories. Nah, nah, that's a coffin. <laughs> that's a coffin. I'd rather hit a bird and lose control and hit some more Cadillac truck or something <laughs> than <laughs> fly out of the sky and be a pancake with a bunch of plastic all around. Yeah, at that height, you can't put Humpty Dumpty back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Four feet, I'll, I'll chance it. Where's the Cadillac deal up there by you? The worst thing <laughs> can happen is you go down in the Bronx. <laughs> right in the, well, you know, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In, in the, the tiger, tiger in the tiger no, habitat. Yeah. You know in the Bronx Zoo they listen to hip hop, the lions. Like I you ever visit the lions and you can see the buildings right there. You're playing music out yeah. the window. Yeah. That's that's natural <laughs> habitat for you. Yeah. That's right. It's the it's the Bronx, baby. <laughs> it's the Bronx. The Bronx. Even the, even the lions got swag, man. They be walking with a ditty bop. Who <laughs> 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 this is my finish shot, guys? Okay, let's go, guys. Wednesday night with those guys are sponsored by. I know it's his birthday, though. Oh, oh, yeah. Happy Early birthday, happy birthday, birthday, birthday Steve. Steve. Thank you, thank happy you, guys. Birthday, Steve. Right to the intro, man. Yeah, they're gonna give us some that drum roll or something. What is that? Is is Lawrence heavy on the desk? Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Listen, one of these days you're going to do Heavy that hand. everything going to fall down. <laughs> you're going to see drones fall <laughs> off the wall. The table's going to collapse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I got is, the computer in my lap. You're going to be buried. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you actually hear that thump, but it, I have this mic. It's two-directional in case you're interviewing someone else, but I only have it set right here in front of me. And each yeah. time I do, I hit the desk, Herman reminds me of, you, you know, yeah, see, you know why it is, sounds so bad? Because okay. Herman has a 250 watt speaker system. So when you hit the desk, it really it's sounds cool. like that, that it's, car going by. It's, it's curtains moving. Curtain move behind him. Watch. <laughs> 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 Don't move. Don't move. Don't no, but Don't um, move. Thanks for joining us with the shot. Is, the, oh, that people. root beer just as good as the first time. Yeah, but you got root beer moonshine. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, Night train. Well, a lot of Night train got the, the, their root beer for moonshine. Mm-hmm. In between the monitor and the keyboard. So when they start hitting the keys on the keyboard, all you hear is Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put it right in front of you on the table so it vibrates through the table into it. Okay. The base, the table, the base right? All right, that, that makes sense. That's that makes a lot of sense. Oh, oh, so when you hear those people, you hear <laughs> Because see, Stevie, but but mistake number Steve. one is actually getting into the Cadillac like that. Okay, first of all, like Ehang, mm-hmm. if you notice the test one that they did in Korea or wherever they did well, that Matt, test we one fit. for Ehang, the first fit. one they covered, the first Americans can't fit in that <laughs> no, until I'm they right. come out with the Ehang right. XXXL. Hey Tom, <laughs> hey Tom, could you imagine Matt trying to get in an Ehang? No, no, Matt still needs a sunroof. <laughs> There'll be the Flintstone draw on my feet. Standing up, looking out the <laughs> top. You gonna see Jordan? So what is that? A you see Jordan 15? hanging out with his hands over the side <laughs> of, the, of the bubble. Looking you see Jordan top. swinging. Hey, listen, it'll be, it'll be, what is that, a size 15 sticking out the bottom of that drone? That's going to have the damn flow. Yeah, but never do. That's that, land, that's that emergency landing gear. He said he landed and walked right inside with it. He's so big, they're going to create lift. He carry it with him. Uh-huh. Uh, no, that's not made for me. No, no, no made, made, right. Made I, didn't, I want the one. I like want the one with the, the button. Blend. After you get out, you press the button and it folds up and goes <laughs> into your pocket. Now that's Jetsons, baby. It's real. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We are almost it's, there. They have flying up. cars. They have flying cars. We have robots. We where we are almost there. It's just not not nowhere near close to the hey, Jetsons. Tom, I'm Tom, sorry. It's Cadillac. If you put that thing in your pocket and it malfunctions, you will have the Hulk's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it'll blow out your pocket. You know, the, you technology, the technology is definitely getting to that scary level. Well, um, think- when, when I was reading the article about the, uh, what was it, the Dragonfly company, they have some of those drones could scan crops and tell you what kind of flowers and where there's weeds. Mm-hmm. And yeah, all that, absolutely. And, and, you know, like all this stuff, so much detail. Well, oh, multispectral yeah. photometry. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they're the one that had the patent for the software for the uh, the thing with the uh, the COVID when they were able to. Yeah, the social distancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, could yeah. tell if you were six feet. That. Who who is that, who that. is uh, too close to other people who come up red? Mm-hmm. Who is wearing masks? Um, were they all doing of that te- temperature temperature yeah. and stuff like that as yeah. well? And they, is that um, the same equipment the volunteer drone task force used? <laughs> no? is that, oh, that was different? Uh, uh, you guys, that went over your head. The volunteer drone task force used oh, wow. an off-the-box 
system, or, you know, off the shelf oh, okay. box system. Off the shelf system. Yeah. Best yeah. Buy. <laughs> so Back to best either buy. Best Buy or they had to kiss the ring to get it. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Micro Center. <laughs> Jab, micro jab, center. jab and twist, jab and twist, guys. Return from Micro Center. Yeah, just you got to jab box. and twist with that one. <laughs> That's all I'm micro saying. Center sale. We've all been there. No, but it, it the technology is moving super fast, and, and oh, companies yeah. like Dragonfly are are leading the way, and, well, and all this stuff. They have so many patents, drone patents. Oh, yeah. There's so a video. Many. There's that yeah, an actual video, video Herman. I need the, to try and find of the, uh, you guys need to check company. out this interview because the yeah. stuff that he talks about, he's the CEO of Dragonfly. Yeah, and the he's stuff that videos. he talks about, I had no idea was even going on before I even got into drones. And so they haven't and they haven't gone in on other companies. He was saying uh, oh, in the interview just, that well, he's holding back because people were trying to buy some of the patents just to go after yep. other companies and make yep. millions of dollars. And he yep. was like, no, he's, it wouldn't he's make sense to the yeah, because it's not going to do any good for the, you know, for the industry. You right. know, it, you it, know it, what I not, thought was kind of strange or well, interesting is like something about when he was mentioning, they kind of have a relationship with DJI because they even use some of their products. Yes, for, for certain that ones. was really interesting. The fact that he's so so advanced in technology he said i use dji drones in, in some of their surveys and stuff like that um yeah. so and he gave props to dji because yes, he did. dji had so many uh engineers and he also the dragonfly does a lot of stuff man he, but he dragonfly also is in a video a very diverse and deep company but he also mentioned, I'm not trying to compete with DJI. No, that's not his purpose. And, and, and he's a prototype. He's a designer. I wanted him to say that because between the technology that they're using yeah. and, and, and where they plan on going in that interview, I'm trying to find a damn interview. Well, he also for some mentioned reason. that DJI has a has way more people working for them. Than yeah, they have DJI. thousands of engineers. You know, I think he said like ten thousand. that they yeah. have working for them at DJI. It would get crushed in competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, his, you don't go. His, his That's not his is, market anyway. His thing yeah. is finding solutions for bigger projects. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's his thing. And since exactly. he's been, people have brought to his attention the solutions that they need. His you know, the, the yeah. options have been put out in the table for different uh, sectors, basically different parts of the yeah. government. And a lot of major corporations are in bed with him as well. So, well, he's been involved with the insurance industry for a long time. He's been involved with public safety. Uh, yes. We've worked with Dragonfly uh, the on prototyping some systems for the U.S. military. Uh, you know, so. They they Dragonfly has been been around for a while. Uh, yes. Now are they a good stock buy? Eh. But uh, with a slow growth like this, you know the thing is that he could diversify rather quickly and yeah. divest rather quickly and make a fortune. Uh, but he seems like he's in for the long haul, which is good for well, us. I, this you know. is the, this is the actual link of his interview. For those of you who are in the chat and don't know who we're talking about, the CEO of Dragonfly, his energy level during the interview is like, it's not pompous. It's like we have been here doing this for a while and I'm not gloating or gloating, whatever you want to call it, but <clears throat> the confidence in him when he's talking about his company and his product, you want to see that. You want to mm -hmm. see that in 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 a company coming up because you. How would you say we need more stuff here in the states? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> plain and simple. We hurt. We got we hurting Foxconn. Here. We're we hurting Foxconn. here in the United States, technology wise. So so, the so the, the, you're talking about Cameron Shell. Cameron yes. Shell's been around. He, he he's been a. Uh, he he's been an entrepreneur in this environment for that link. Click that like link three decades and put it yeah. for watch later, guys, because you want to hear this this interview. And I say you want to hear it because I watched it from beginning to end, and the technology that he talks about in the drone world and community, like wow, they did that. They oh, yeah. did that too. Uh, you, some you of the know? stuff that so, we all know of in the drone industry. Yes, put it in a watch. Put it in a watch later. DJI respects him, and he respects DJI. And neither one of those companies are trying to step on each other's foot. They're just trying to advance and move ahead. 
he even mentioned having a patent on the uh, folding legs on drones. Yes, yes, yes. That's like, come on. The retractable and legs, and if yep. not folding. The, the retractable back. legs that go up like that. They oh, own that so like the Inspire. Mm-hmm. Like he said, oh, the, got you. Yeah, I got you. You know, and be able to fit into a, a, a pack, a backpack, or something like that. Right. But yes, he said your drone could fit in a backpack. That's because of us. That's because of us. Dragon Dragonfly also uh, was selected by Nightscope mm-hmm. to integrate vital sign checking into their mobile security robots, mm-hmm. right? So these security robots could walk around stores and everything and check people and see whether they are uh, fever or they have a fever or not. <laughs> Right, okay. so, that, depends uh, on what what malls you put them in. I, at Green right, Acres, I don't think it would works. be successful. <laughs> I can't just say it. Paramus, maybe. Green yeah, Acres, you know, yeah, not so they much. They were going to use that. Weren't they going to use that in um, that drone to be able to the, detect who was able or that software to, they, to they, detect they, who had it? Again, Dragonfly the again. One of them was going to uh, use it. They, they, they scrapped the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. it was planning to get uh, you I'm having a hard personally. enough time dealing with the beeping robot and stop and shop. Stop and shop? Because <laughs> we did a little dance. I turned around. You mess with him? And n- no. And leave I, stuff in front of him? No, I, I didn't mess with him. But when he went to the left, <laughs> I went to the right, and he stopped and beeped three times, and then he backed up. So I was like, okay, this is highly intelligent. But when he backed up, I stepped forward, and he immediately turned around and took off down the aisle. So but you were if there were shopping them, carts in the you way, were, if there's you were shopping, effing with them. Yeah. <laughs> you were. Just admit it, man. Because okay. I want to see what he would do. Now they see the shopping carts. Mm-hmm. So I took the shopping cart and I moved towards him and he stopped and gave out a loud beep, like, hey, I'm standing here, and backed up. And I was like, they see this everything. Is interesting. Uh, I have not know I what it is. You ever seen that video on Facebook I put of the robot stalking me? No, no. Oh, man. I'm trying. I don't know if it'll show here, but damn, it's on Facebook. He's watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's going by in That's the background. Supermarket. <laughs> yeah, That's stop and shop. What talking about? Yeah, that's the same robot I was talking about. That's the same one. I made a meme of myself. I put it right before you steal from Stop and Shop. <laughs> he was watching you. Uh, I was going for the steaks. That's funny. That's the I, I, at first, I didn't know what the hell it was, but I realized that he goes around the store and cleans up little spills. Well, yeah. not just, no, not yeah. just that. Yeah. He does and it also inventory. inventory. Yeah. He not does inventory. Spot right. His, checks, number, one purpose, his yeah. number one purpose he, is to do inventory in the store. And all he has to do is go past. The, the section it in the store up and over here. Yeah, he. It, the purpose of it is to make sure the aisles are safe, and also while he transits around, mm-hmm. he's scanning QR codes that, that they place strategically around to make sure. First off, he stays on track, and just like a security guard, that he's checking in at the various locations. Yeah, he's. He so yeah, you're right. Me. They do. They, they, there's a couple of different uh, ones out there, and they're getting pretty see hysterical. Through the live I, space that's so crazy. The when, when wait until they start dressing them up, man. <laughs> you got to see them try to maneuver through the line space in the front of the store when it gets crowded. He <laughs> <laughs> will He's beat dressed. the hell out of you, just like Laura said. <laughs> and if you can't find that way out, he'll move to the side once you move. Man. Wow. Well, all I can say is that robot. I find very entertaining because it, 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 when it gets frustrated, it beeps more. So the more it beeps, <laughs> the What's more it tries mean? to get away from you. If you put a shopping cart in front of it, it'll go around the shopping cart. But if you move the shopping cart in the direction it's going, it'll just get pissed and walk in the other direction. Now, if you so, hit him so with if you want to mess movie, with it, if you want to mess security. with it, you got to follow it. You heard yes, he'll call. He'll call home, Herman. He'll call. Okay. Home. Yes. Yeah. 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 And he even has the evidence that you just assaulted his ass <laughs> on, those, uh, on camera. <laughs> on camera too. And then they're going to bring him. Then they're going to bring him into court, and he's going to testify against you. There'll be a series <laughs> of beeps, and then he'll project a holograph of, of what happened. Him. Okay. Like R two D two. It's only a matter of time, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's only a matter hey, of time. Those little uh, what's that? Alexa <laughs> devices. They they uh. Hey, they, it's our future, man. They, it's weren't our they future. trying to use one to uh, in court? With this guy, it, rec it recorded the, the conversation. Alexa actually him and a guy before he killed the guy. Ex Alexa actually recorded <clears throat> the entire murder and everything, and because of um the toss terms of service with Amazon and Alexa, they were not allowed to release the records. And the government actually tried their best to get these records released, and it would violate the owner's terms of service. No, they, they, they should. They the should be the, subpoena. There should be subpoena ability there. I'm that's sorry, what that's the, wrong. but no, Tom. That's, that's what they had to go after. They had yeah, to they go have, for a subpoena to to, no, to no, put to it get a subpoena. Through. You have to who, get a subpoena. Who owned the Alexa? The victim or the murderer? The murderer. The, the, the murderer. Oh, then that, that that information is classified. Well, a lot of people. A lot of you don't know that. this. A, a lot of you don't know this, but Alexa and Alexa stop. Yeah, I got Alexa everywhere. That too. one, that one, <laughs> that that device. Yeah, I changed and, the name of the Alexa for that, that reason. device and Google Home. <laughs> listen to everything for twenty four hours. Now, if you remember back in the in the early eighties, at one time because there were so many drug deals being done through pay phones, that mm -hmm. law enforcement was allowed to listen to the call for thirty seconds, and if they didn't hear anything incriminated, incriminating, they had to hang up. Well. Yeah. Now these devices do it for 24 hours. Okay. They record everything for 24 hours. And then within 24 hours, if nothing comes up, they're supposed to delete it. Well, I'm going to tell you that it's a crock of bull. You really think so, huh? You really think uh, so? Yeah. It's, it's a crock oh, of bull. Goodness. Well, this is what I'm getting at. My you know son, what? I changed, I changed the name of my Alexa to asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recently watching, watching, watching the news. Uh -huh. I, I was I, I kept on calling asshole too many times that I had to change the name again. <laughs> well, well, Tom, <laughs> what I'm like what I was getting at was my son had gotten into some trouble, right? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> he they pulled up his cell phone records in court. I'm gonna let you know from the very first cell phone he had when he was 17 years old to present day. They had every conversation, every website, and every location he's he's been to. So if like Herman said, he, he had cell phones back from the days of the Ericsson's and all of that, I don't think they could record back then, but from the smartphone technology, now they have everything literally. What about See, we can get, we, we, we can get anything when it comes to what numbers were called, mm -hmm. you know, even voicemails and stuff like what that. Websites what websites you've we gone to. From our what we can't get to, what we can't get to without a subpoena, and I'm talking about our staff. You know, we we have thousands of cell phones out there, thousands of, of iPads, of thousands. thousands of tough books, and uh, so when it comes to text messages, we actually have to get a subpoena to get text messages off of right. our own phones and I'm, I'm talking about department issued phones okay mm -hmm. uh but you know the the phone message the the voicemail and the what numbers they called and all of that is because we get our own billing we okay. got access to all of that right okay but when it comes to the text messages we actually have to go through the major carriers at and yeah, Verizon yeah. with the because subpoena they have all that stuff to get on text the messages off of off of job phones from employees so yeah it's you know you gotta jump through the hoops well it's the new the thing now because my sister-in-law works for um aig which is a large insurance company and they they have they deal internationally and her company gives her a phone okay and believe it or not certain numbers can't even contact this phone like she doesn't get spam mail she doesn't get none of that stuff you know, like like we get the robo calls and all of that. She doesn't get none of that stuff because it's a company phone. And more and more companies are requesting that you have a phone. You're not on social media now. To get a job, if you're on Facebook or social media, you might not get that yeah, job. Yeah. Because well, they we do have, research. We, well, they do well, research man, now. it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Well, a lot of people now, when you are applying for a job, you're signing a waiver. Uh, that they can look at your social media, yep. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you really want the job, I guess you're signing anything these mm-hmm. days, right? And that gives them permission but, you know, to check uh, your social we, media. We use we use any large enterprise or any any major company is going to use something called the MDM, mobile device management. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so we use a product uh, from Dell known as Workspace One. Uh, we're transitioning off a product known as AirWatch, uh-huh. but we have our own. We have our own Apple Store. We have our own Google Store. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Within the mobile device management, and our staff can only get applications through that. They right. can't on those phones go to the regular, uh, you know, uh, Apple App Store. Or the Google Store. To yeah, get apps. you have you to go through your. You can't download them on those Your phones. company distributor, the FDNY, just wherever they get their stuff from. And those you are you, you go through you go you go through our mobile hey, device. Hey, what's up, Rob system. from Australia? Good morning. Hey, phones. Rob, feet on the ground. And those phones connect. They connect to a system called FirstNet. Mm-hmm. So uh, when when the public saturates a cell site. It doesn't matter. These phones can still get through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They have like a priority service. Well, after Verizon that 9 11 thing, they, they pushed service. hard for that, Tom. They pushed hard for, for just well, it was the a VPN long, a long cell time phones. before that, Lawrence. Back, here's what happened back in the days. Remember the bricks or the, you carried mm-hmm. the suitcase or yeah. you had the mobile install? All well, those installs were bit. done by Motorola resellers. Okay. Because mm-hmm. Motorola held the patent on those cell phones for the first 20 years, okay? Mm-hmm. And and so what happened was you would go to get it installed in your limo or the department vehicle. You had to go there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you slipped the technician an extra 20, he gave you priority service, right? Mm-hmm. So back, uh, for those of you that remember the World Series in San Francisco, when the mm-hmm. earthquake struck, yeah, okay, during the broadcast, well, uh, San Francisco Fire Department uh, chiefs had those cell phones, and when they tried to connect, they couldn't connect because citizens who also had cell phones were calling home and going, "Honey, I'm going to be late," so they couldn't get through. Mm. Uh, then, of course, when the first uh, the first attack on the uh, World Trade Center happened. Uh, it was uh, again the media and everybody else. The second the media got on the scene, they opened up a, a, a connection to talk to their editors, and then all the public coming out of the buildings, calling home, mm-hmm. saying, "Hey, you know, something saturated the cell sites," and then public safety really couldn't use the cell system. Uh, so all that's changed with FirstNet, and it's a uh, it's a reserved spectrum on the cellular frequencies that only government and public safety can come across. Uh, hey, feet on the ground, how are you? Uh, so, Your phone working. It's, uh, all of that stuff yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it works what through we, what, all of that. What, what, we, what we also did as a department is we, we brought out our own APN or uh, an, uh, a, a private network so to speak. Yeah, that okay. needed to be done long time ago. So so actually when our phones are anywhere near any of our rolling stock or you know apparatus or ambulances or command vehicles or any like thing like that, or anywhere near a facility, they'll automatically connect to our wireless network. Okay. Okay. Uh, which we have run fiber all throughout the city after Super Storm Standy. Well, the copper underground, you know, the old telegraph and telephone yeah, systems and the, yeah, all that stuff, you know, so we went to the feds and got some grants. Uh, if you ever see uh, what looks like fire trucks, you know, the FDMY trucks, but they look like telephone trucks with buckets on them and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's our outside, that's our plant engineering they group. And they're the, they're the crew who runs, they're all local threes. They're I the was crews wondering who about run, that. They run fiber underground. They're, they're all certified. They're all certified fiber technicians now. We sent them all to school. Yeah, those are my union brothers. Yeah. Yep, they sure are, baby. Mm-hmm. Prevailing rate, baby. The local gets a bump, they get a bump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they got much better retirement plans than you do. 
Uh, so, but uh, well, because there would uh, also they get the they get this yeah they get right, the they, they get the pension get from hours, uh, working get, for the government yeah, yeah. they get both yeah. of them yeah yeah they they, yeah. they got a good deal there they got a good deal so to walk that's, off that's and why so a lot of guys this. run to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, the hospital's good too hospital, because of the pension. You'll get yeah. the one from the hospital, or if it's a city, right. you get the one from the city, and then you get the one from the local as well. From the local that you contribute it to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah think so about good. all those I things. Thought about folks. it. I'm still thinking about it. Think about all those things, finishing, folks. It all pays off the in the end. My time at the hospital. Yeah, it's an easy I'm job. Finish my time <laughs> soon, all man. All they do is put in bulbs. That's it. That's what them guys do. They put in bulbs with this major. What, the hospital guys? Done, yeah. They call yeah. somebody else in. They get a contractor in, H&L, right. or one of them comes in to, yeah, you get yeah. a local three contractor. Like that, they call a contractor. Let them do it. Yeah, well, yeah see, guys, no, we do. We yeah. do all. Remember, you know, you, you got an organization that has, you know, we're talking about 500 freaking sites throughout the city of New York. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But we, we, oh, we have, we have complete, we have complete access uh, in fact, people have to go through us for egress under undergrounds in the manholes. Mm. Uh, we have agreements going back to 1898, Stevie. No, I wasn't an original signatory on them. Okay, uh, but we have <laughs> we have agreements going back to 18, 1898 and 1887 with the telephone and telegraph, the Bell Telephone and Telegraph Company, mm. uh, to allow them to pull cable copper underground in new york to tie in uh alarm boxes on street mm -hmm. corners okay so it goes back that far okay uh, but uh yeah i mean you know and all of this stuff becomes just think about all the internet of, of things you have now so one thing that better be front and center on your mind is the security of your own systems mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is true everything's connecting everything's connecting and now look at what happens when you got a ring doorbell and you got a ring uh security camera and something like that and somebody goes up on amazon or more likely alibaba and buys a little pie computer that can jam those signals yeah. okay so imagine if the porch pirate now has a little computer about this size in their pocket and then when they come up they hit a button and it jams your Hey Tom, you ring door doorbell and then they uh, steal your package. Hey Tom, depending on the type of car you have, Metro. you actually have a device out there that you can ride down the block. And depending on the car, like I said, oh yeah, yeah, press I'll... a button and it scans through the alarm frequencies. Yep, and absolutely. opens cars. Yeah, you need you know, an emergency so, kit with yeah. no so, technology. So technology yeah. it is it it's good, but it's a double edged a sword, out like anything well. else, right? No, yeah, it's a double edged sword. It's true because whatever does get better, there's always someone in there trying to make it worse. Well, they use it. it is one against the other all the time, it. Tom. Vulnerabilities so become exploits. So what's your backup plan? Natural progression of life. Listen, my backup plan, my backup plan is to be out in the wilderness. Okay. But listen, <laughs> what's gonna work to communicate? I have a backup plan. You want me to tell you the backup plan? Which <laughs> backup plan? Talkie. No, I have two Goya bean cans with the string. You know, you drill like <laughs> the one little Goya tiny bean hole. <laughs> and you send the can, the can wherever you want to wherever you want to communicate Stevie, with. You just talk in the can Stevie, and the string Stevie, sends the vibration. They can hear yeah, it on the, but, you ever did that in school? The but Stevie, I don't string. know if you checked. If you checked, you better verify this up on uh, Wikipedia. But I believe the black beans give you fifty more yards. <laughs> Uh, service over the pinto beans. Oh, over the pinto? Okay. What about the yeah. red? Because the, red. the can is thicker. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I got to do a but test I'm now. Be, and, and nothing get nothing more. gets through those refry bean cans, dude. I think refry? more time with the garbanzos. See, yeah. now, that'll be my next video. No more trips there to Philadelphia go. and Boston. I'm going to straight up do the can test. Look, dude, dude, you went to Philly. Did there you go, go for any steaks? Steak sandwiches? Yes or no, bro? 
this time I Because we're waiting for the comparison. Stevie, I, I stop did it. The Geno's. Stevie, I did the Geno's. Right, Stevie, true. you're cut yeah. off. Did you, you did Geno's. I didn't do Pats. Did you do Pats? I didn't do Pats. Dude, but what, I didn't do what are you comparing you have Geno's not experienced. to, man? You have because everybody loves Geno's. They keep going to Geno's. Listen, I'm going to do Pats. No, now yeah, see, but, you but, know why he went to Geno's? What are you comparing it to? Hold on, Tom. You know why he went to Geno's? Because the lights and the glam. The lights, it's like, oh. You know, okay, no, I, now a lot of people don't know, and Billy Kyle gave us the history. Pat's was the original cheese. It's the original. Geno's opened up as competition to them. Yes. So the tourists that go to the tourists, like you were, Steve, Play all that went bowls. to Geno's, missed out on a real freaking Philly cheeseburger. You know what's crazy? <laughs> and and you know, you know what the guys who are at Pat's <laughs> say? If you F them. If they listen, don't know a good steak sandwich, okay? listen, I've, I've That's had the steak attitude sandwich down there. over there, but truthfully, Lars, I'm telling you, if you're ever in Hackensack, get yourself over to Cubbies. I know you keep so telling me about Cubbies, sandwich. man. We have to hit that this year. Yes, Pat's Eddie Nunez. That's right. If you go to Philly, how <laughs> and <laughs> Billy Kyle will tell yes. you himself. Eddie Nunez came I've been to Geno's. Hey, 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 what? Man. I gotta tell I, you, I gotta tell you a funny story about Pat. So we go to Pat's, me and Eddie, right? And and the wife, the bride is with me, right? We were in separate cars. We went down there. We we're gonna meet up with Billy, but Billy got uh, sick at the last minute. So we we turned around and we 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 buzzed around a few different places. We went over to Pat's, stood online. The funniest thing, you know, and you gotta order just the right way. Otherwise, they'll refuse your service. Okay, okay. it's hilarious. Wait, wait. Hilarious. Yeah. Wit, if you wit, don't know how to whiz, order, right. you got to move know, back to the, right. back of the line. <laughs> so so we, we get our steak sandwiches, right? We go to our separate cars. Man, me and the wife, we inhaled ours. It, 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 it's just so damn good, right? And then, yeah, Eddie. And, and then what happens is uh, Eddie <laughs> says to me, right. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie says, Eddie gets me on the phone. He goes, hey, dude, I want to. I want to throw the drone up right on the corner here and get a shot of Pats and Geno's. And I go, okay, I'll come out and I'll smart for you. So we're on the corner. We both got our masks on, right? We fly. We go back to our respective cars. And the phone rings again. It's Eddie. And I go, what's up, man? He goes, dude, I just took off my mask and looked in the mirror. I had cheese whiz all up the side of my face. (laughs) (laughs) He inhaled the sandwich, too. I mean, it was great, man. (laughs) That was was great. That was a great sandwich, dude. Listen, we got one more story to do. You guys are familiar with um, with, uh, what you call it there. uh, What we talked about last week with uh, Airpeeps and Sony. And we all saw that new drone that they came out. Well, we got this here. Skyfish has launched an American-made autonomous work drone. Now, American drone manufacturer Skyfish has formally launched its autonomous drone, the Skyfish M4 and M6, with a ruggedized controller. Four prop, six prop. Now, this company has also partnered with Sony to officially support its A7, R, and QX camera series. Now, I thought thought that was crazy because when you look at that camera gimbal, it's very similar to the one that's on the the, the Sony's. And what I believe they're using uh, uh, another uh, company's gimbal. But um, if you're familiar with this company's name, it's probably because they've been working in the cellular communication industry for quite some time. Now, this uh, Skyfish manufacturer has their own onboard computer, remote control, carbon composite airframe, battery charging system, RTK base station, uh, flight planning and navigational software, 3D modeling, Mapping and analytics software. This is all the created by their own that company for that drone. Those two drones alone. Now that there happens to be basically they they designed this uh, this whole thing here from and it's a Panasonic like a uh, the Panasonic Toughbook, the ten inch oh, right display. here. Yeah, the controller the, the right controller. here on screen. Yeah, it has a ten inch yeah, display. Twenty one, I think. Yeah, I yeah. I like this controller. You know why? I like the stubby antennas. It looks ergonomic, and it looks like you're there to take care of business. Plain you and get simple. A pinch with that. 
Pinching huh? might be hard. It looks like a good for a thumb up. Yeah. The right? thing is huge, guys. Okay. I just say it's, it's, it's big. Yeah. Just realize well, it's that. got a 10 that's inch a, screen. Well, that's right. a tough book. Yeah, but that's okay. Wait a second now. The screen is 10 inches. Yes. It's in a tough book. And mm -hmm. then the tough book goes into this assembly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? Yes. And if right. you know anything I mean, about I mean, tough books, I mean, the first four letters, T U F F, <laughs> make a whole lot of difference. Okay. Of these and are. Yeah. These are armor, armor plated devices, basically. Right. That's heavy. We we use we use all kinds. We use the CF twenties, uh the the twenty ones, the thirties, the thirty threes. They're they're monsters, man. They they really hold out, but they're freaking expensive too. Well, they can support the can uh, Sony systems and all both drones are have LIDAR. You know, you're talking about sixty five miles per hour. Yeah, and, and one hour yeah. flight time, correct? Yeah. One hour flight time. Flight the time. M4 is the four prop and the M6 is the um, helicopter. But um, one carries six batteries as opposed to the other one carrying two. Wow. Yeah. So, this, so one made in America, made in America. Yes, 100%. They <laughs> make everything. <laughs> with all Japanese <laughs> products. And Japanese they make right. everything oh, down yeah. to the software <laughs> of the bird. I want to see the union label on them. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta blow up the big rat in front of this fat. Hey, listen. You Tom, better believe it, baby. Tom, Tom, Every rat gets some mileage, baby. Tom, even the unions had to be, had to settle because, you know, and, and this is sad because I like I said, I work in building trade, and used to be you go into the box, and everyone that came out of the box, you installed. Now yep. half That's of them nice. bounce off the wall because they don't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this wow. is the stuff that's holding up your buildings, people. Wow. Yeah, yeah. well, it, it's sad, but you can't do nothing about it. Just stay yeah. away from the building. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Big by, city and, like New York is taking and, it on the chin. And not man. by choice. Not by choice. Uh, trust me. These companies are figuring out that they don't need everybody in an office setting. Well, hold no, on. My, my wife, the way business the, is done. The perfect example, Tom, my wife's job, right? She works on my computer from home. There was a time that they, she was going in once a week or twice a week to the office. But because no one was in a building, the building was so freaking cold. No heat yeah. was on. Yeah. No, no, the bathrooms were barely um suitable. Right, they so keep them a, only at yeah. Right, so the they, bosses are like, "Why should I have my employees go into a cold well, building? If look, you're not we even looked at it. Heat on. Yeah, we looked at it this way, right? So yeah, I I have a lot of, I, I got about one third of my workforce working on site, mm -hmm. okay, because they have to support direct operations. But I have a lot of technologists behind the scenes that can do monitoring, that can do application development and all of this remotely. Right. Uh, and, and the way I look at it is this. In fact, I had to tell some people to stay home. Oh, no, I'd rather go into work. No, that's not your choice. The reason why I want you to stay home is because you are presenting less risk to those who have to be there. First of all, there are people who have to be there. They're putting themselves at right. risk. Okay then you are putting them at increased risk because now you're coming in, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're putting yourself at increased risk because now you're commuting. So stay mm -hmm. the hell home, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm finding people are being pretty damn productive. I mean, when they return to the workplace, I'm going to have to have a talk with all of them why I wasn't getting as much work out of them when they were on site, okay? But you know uh, I guess you know what it you is, know what Tom? It is? People want to justify their existence. Yes, they need okay? to miss something. And that's a good thing. But the other thing, the other thing I remind myself of constantly is I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. Okay. Because, you know, there's a whole group of people. You know, if you're in the hospitality industry, the travel industry, man, you you that those industries have been decimated. They've been decimated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I just hope there's ways for them to recover quickly. Uh, but I got my shots on Monday, man. We got our first shots on Monday. Okay. So, all right. That's for my we, 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 
We go on the 17th so Matt, of February you're at, to get our second. Shot, there's shots too, right? Yeah, both. I got you're both. Right, you're already on second. Yeah. Well, Tom, you got officially, only one. Officially, officially according to the mayor of New York City, you both are, tomorrow, the, uh, front line. but hold on, officially, according to our mayor, tomorrow, Done. New York City will be out of vaccines. Yeah, I just seen that. And I Facebook. find that so sad. They have to I reschedule. Really, Thanks, well, Wells, Rob. They're supposed to be getting him yeah. in, in, in a few days. By Tuesday, they claim. Well, you know what? Enact the Defense Act and uh, get these American companies to produce for the USA. Okay. Exactly. You enjoy all these tax breaks and incentives and everything else. Now it's time to step up. Okay. Because mm-hmm. this is a war. Good. This is a Next war. Week. Now, you know what? You know what way the new next this new administration can endear themselves with the general public? Live up to that pledge of getting a hundred million. You want the car, man? Okay, I, I, I'm vaccinated in a hundred days. I, I seriously I'm hope so, Tom. Yourself? Seriously, I really do. I, I yeah, hope. Well, you know what? Do it. It, it. It's it's and and you know what can what can't happen right after you get your shots is you stop wearing a mask and you stop caring about other people. <laughs> Because there's a lot of things we don't know yet. There's a lot of things, you know, and, and it's likely, you know, I, I said early on that, that the virus is going to morph. It's going to morph. And it's doing just that. We're seeing that. It's becoming more contagious, right? And the best thing we can do is get as many people immunized as possible, okay? And then, you know what? We might have to do this every year. We might have to get a booster, okay? Are there year. worse things in life, yeah. Okay. And, the, and here's what I'll say to those, and I'm sorry if some of you in the chat, that you're not sure whether you're going to get the shot or not. Here's, the only thing I'll say to you, go to the back of the line, because there's plenty of people in front of you that want it. So stay out of the way and let them get it then. Okay. Yeah. It's voluntary right now, but it will be mandatory. So you might as well just get it. Man. Well, it you know out. what? It might not be mandatory. It might be, you can't go freaking anywhere. For a job, it, okay? for a job so, yes. Some jobs are you making know, it mandatory or it, it's hard it, because you're violating people's rights wearing a mask is <laughs> wah, 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 wah. oh my you god this you is, took um, off your shoes you took you know off your shoes is, because right? you wanted to go to south beach right you took off your yeah. shoes to get through the airport to go to south beach true okay you put on a seatbelt because you knew you'd get a ticket right so guess what put on exactly. a damn mask and 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 think about it this way it's brownie points it's brownie points if there is an afterlife and you make it to the pearly gates Maybe you got a few extra green stamps there to get you Honestly, through the door. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, Just fucking like think about other people. Guys, think about other people. Actually, I like how some of you look with the mask on, too. Well, you know what? People look much better with the mask on. That's rough. Okay. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, but also the breath mint industry took a nosedive. Oh, also. yes. Just yes. Really Nobody's better. buying gum or breath mints anymore. No, no. Because of the mask. <laughs> It's crazy because you still can smell it. I mean, that cloth. But you, you, you're finding out a lot sooner that you're people, the perpetrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay? People are realizing. People are realizing. Yeah, like, oh, if you're man. finding that out, I'm finding out the masks don't work. The air goes up. Because <laughs> that shit that's going to make me sick is coming out your mouth with that stuff. <laughs> with your mask. Yo, Hermes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy walk into uh, uh, where'd we go? We went to Jersey Mike's out on uh, Jericho Turnpike and uh, I'm in there because I ordered online and right. I get in there a few minutes early and they're still making it and then this guy walks in and he's got his hand over his face like this and he comes up and he goes unacceptable and they're funny. like excuse me sir you got to put on a mask he goes but i don't have any you know this young girl <laughs> behind the counter went into her backpack opened up a ziploc bag and took out i guess she had a few extra masks and handed it to him okay and he goes but well, my hand's fine why do i have to wear a mask Your well i want to see how you're gonna unacceptable pay. okay you're gonna pay with that same hand thank you very yeah. much okay no no you know, way. you know what you know the what, one Tom? thing I think stays Eventually, forever. Eventually, people are going to start agreeing with him and start. And let me cover your mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to cover it with my foot. Let uh, me but cover your mouth. you know, you know the one thing that I hope sticks after all this is over. People washing their freaking hands. Okay, I know, man. I know it's so important you know that what? people do That's that. That's so crazy. I That's see, a- 
I see some of the stuff that people the whole do. Hand washing thing. And and it, it's appalling that, 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 like that, that man has to be reminded of that. I, yeah. I had an executive, I had an executive assistant, and she was she's the funniest thing going when she goes, she would come back to her desk and her desk would be outside my door, and she'd go, Oh, can't take it, and then go up to this this list and write a name down. Mm-hmm. And one day I saw this happen like three times and I said to her, Hey, what are you doing? She goes, oh, this is my list of people who don't wash their hands in the ladies' room. Oh, wow. So you know what? I, she goes, I never want to lose track of those people. But, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Though? Most people yeah, 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 I got do you. not. And I don't care who you are. I'm telling you. Most people do not wash their hands as much as they're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I don't know where they, they stopped doing that. Where, well, where COVID they, oh, no, we, we, we COVID really never that. did. We really never did. People moved around and they never washed their hands as much as they really should. That is a given. Bathroom wash. I watched <laughs> some of the things that my grandmother did, and I always thought they were a little quirky, but she did them. And my grandmother always washed her hands when she came in the house. She yeah. always and she went shopping. Everything went on the came out of the bags onto the floor into the sink, washed into the mm-hmm. refrigerator. You washed it, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah that was from. the culture I grew up in. Also, you have yeah. to do that. Yeah. You, you would be surprised how many people don't wash off the top of their cans when they pull them out of the cabinet. Oh, Nonetheless, put them in there. Then you, and, and, if you saw, opener, but, but hold you know on. That, if you oh. hold on, Stevie, if you saw what happens to your canned goods. In a warehouse at night, you would probably boil the can if you could. <laughs> You're right. I'm telling you, man. Seriously, and, and I'm not the talking. Pepsi, and I'm Pepsi not just cans, talking about that. the rodents. Things I'm talking about the employees that work there <laughs> and and everything else under under the line. So, so the one thing I enjoy most of all is that there's apparently a level of ignorance uh, that people don't realize that their nose is attached to their mouth. Okay. <laughs> And that the mouth and nose both attach to their lungs. So by just covering up one of those elements, you really didn't help anybody. Okay? Yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> you know, well, please, there's some you just like to put a bag over there and, and talk. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> the masks I make some people actually look good. Okay, and forget to count the two off. <laughs> Dude, you know, I, I, I some, some of the, I, I want to start wearing the mask with the little sayings on them. Like the one is, you know, Please cover your nose. Or I, I don't believe in magic. I believe in science. Okay, so, but look, you know, we we got to get to the other side of this. Okay, otherwise, drone meetups are out the door, man. Yeah, and I know some of you like that, though. I know there's a few of us here that like that idea, but uh, what drone meetups yeah. being out the door? I like flying with meetups? the group. Like nah, they're cool. The guys. Uh, the drone meetups. Yeah, we, we, we get a kick out of drone meetups. We yeah. miss doing those, right, Stevie? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a drone meetup. Nah. Now we got to go out. You can no. stand around and hang out and talk with guys. Nah, you can, laugh for, you can laugh for hours. Only, you can laugh yeah, for hours at a drone new. meetup. Tom, oh, forget a mask. I'm going to get one of these. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? What is that? Is that the face piece? Okay. Is that the whole yeah, face that's piece? The head visor. Hold on. Let me turn this light off. Hold yeah, on. that's that. <laughs> That's a whole head visor, yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah. head visor. You know what? It's almost yeah with dead. the two HIPAA filters in the bottom. It's you know the only problem with that. No mask, no Matt, more. Matt, the only the only problem with those is uh, that you you got to realize that those HEPA filters have a finite life. Interesting. And yeah. then when you start to look oh, at those easy. things and you find out, how, and and you can't like clean them. Okay, that's a fallacy. You can't clean a HIPAA uh, HEPA filter. No, and, and so what happens is, screw? yeah, you got to replace them. And those things are freaking, they get expensive, man. Yeah. Now, the other problem I have with this is glare. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So first you. off, if you have prescription glasses that you ha- wear, you have to be able to wear them on the inside. And I think I read it in a few places where I've seen these, that they do accommodate uh, prescription glasses. The mm. problem is you added now another surface. Mm-hmm. So think about how Sorry, light sir. bends and, you right. know, so, so that I, I would be concerned if I saw my Uber driver wearing that, I'd be very concerned. Okay. <laughs> There's a little bit of sun glare, a little bit of sun glare and he missed that red light. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so, 
you know, that's that's my only concern about them. And, and then you got to see the person's full face now, okay? And that that takes away from what Herman likes about masks. Oh yeah, maybe well, we can talk. Lot, there are people who got a lot less scary because all you can see is their eyes. If if, if you get a chance, <laughs> if you get a chance, go up, Herman. You'll get a kick out of this. If you get a chance, there was a Saturday Night Live skit, probably mm. from the summertime. But if you go up on YouTube, it's on YouTube. Where it's this whole thing about asking the girl to pull down her mask. They uh-huh. wrote a whole song about, <laughs> okay. come on, girl, let us see those lips. Uh huh. Pull down your mask, okay? And 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 the girl's coming back, going, "You ain't worth me pulling down my mask," okay? So there's a whole thing on uh, Saturday Night Live. You got to check it out. It was pretty funny, but it goes right along the lines you were mm-hmm. talking about. Okay, when she pulls down her mask, you might not like what you see on the other side. So. Man, I like it. <laughs> girl's got better, yeah. better looking. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, yeah. it, 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 if if you if you exchange numbers and go Zoom with the girl later on, and she shows up to the Zoom stream you know, still with the mask on, you know you got a problem. You know, exactly. you know what's so sad about that? <laughs> I got the mask on the program, program. <laughs> and they were talking about you know dating during the pandemic and they mm-hmm. the one woman she that they interviewed I felt so bad for her because she was talking about how she met a couple of guys and they you know they she had a couple of dates on 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 Zoom and she said you know it's not much different than regular dating she goes I've I've gotten stood up already I was like damn how you get stood up in the virtual world <laughs> yeah damn that's yeah. tough because he didn't have nowhere to go you know what I mean? He he literally didn't have anywhere to go. He <laughs> just did not accept the message link when you sent it out. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's sad. That that's yeah, I gotta sad. say, I, I gotta say I'm, I'm blessed also because you know I got my wife and, and I'm very fortunate, yeah. you know. Uh going through this thing alone, man, that's gotta be a you know yeah. it's gonna really turn you for for, Some of for us a are few spoiled, right? Spoil. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, I'm very fortunate. I'm and I'm able to fortunate. stop whenever I want to go fly my drone. I am super spoiled. Like when yeah. I was in Philly, I was like, oh, let me stop right here. Not a problem, no sucking of the teeth. <laughs> I yeah. was just, and I was sitting on top of the truck, like, you know, leaning on the truck, just flying. And I got a great system. I'm, I'm spoiled for sure. <laughs> drone pilot, because I heard nightmare stories of people like just passing up great shots because... They didn't want to hear it. <laughs> they didn't want to get into it, you know. All right, so. you know, I'm fortunate also, Stevie. Um, you know, bless. She's wonderful. She she she'll go on basically any adventure with me. Yeah, I hear that, man. That's good. Must so be good, nice. Though. Next, he so said, "Must good, be man. nice." <laughs> so good. <laughs> don't, Sorry, don't bro. get smacked live, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna get smacked in the back of the head, dude. Yeah. Be careful. A and slipper, we're over to see a slipper screen, come out so. of frame. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Listen, all right? maybe next Are you, week. You doing your uh, thing tonight on 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 the, the computer? Oh, what happened? Oh, you doing oh, it, phone call thing Lawrence. on the computer tonight? <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence will uh, fade out for a few days and come. Don't back Don't get with a muted, lump. Stevie. <laughs> come back with a lump. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> next time we might we might want to talk right, about Lawrence. these. These are the, comes the back fo- on screen and he's got yeah. a knot on his head. <laughs> With a speed knot. <laughs> These are the um foldable master air screw for the phantom. Yeah, tr- I just opened now, them up. So the they phantom, came in today. Phantom ones, right? No, no. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought I was wondering whether you got the ones for the Mavic Air too. I did because I heard you did. So and, well, how's the quality control on them? And they're clean. Listen, check this out real quick because I know we end in the show. I saw Russ's video uh-huh. and I went into a panic because yeah. I placed the order that week and okay. I wrote right, a, I right. wrote an email. I For those li- of you that don't know, Russ, Russ from <laughs> the drones, he, he, he wrote about he, he wrote about how the quality control he found on the Mavic Air 2 mm-hmm. uh, uh, blades uh-huh. was very rough and it caused vibration. So Steve what, drone. Yeah, so so Russ the blades turn on. He turned on his drone with the new uh, props from Master Air Screw, mm-hmm. and the drone was spinning. It danced it like on, on the a, table. I was on the yeah, it was, on the table, yeah, it, yeah. It was it. moving yeah. itself. A lot of and vibration. It, a lot of and vibration. he put on wow. the uh, he put the stock props, and he didn't have that problem. So after watching right. the video, 
I quickly wrote an email because I didn't have my props yet. I just ordered them. Mm -hmm. And I wrote them that I, that I saw the video. I even linked the video. And I told them that I want my uh, props to be triple checked, triple inspected before mm -hmm. you send them out. I, I told them I'd rather wait than have to deal with sending them back. Right. You want three so of those I said, I don't care about waiting. my tags in your underwear. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I want Instead all the, I want 18 want, stickers across the That's right. I want them all over. Quality <laughs> control <laughs> number 13. By 51. <laughs> I right. want that to go down the compare <laughs> belt. I checked it. That's now right. you check it. So, um, so anyway, I wrote the email. I sent the link and I said, listen, you know, I'd rather wait. I don't, I'm not going to complain about waiting than mm -hmm. receive messed up props that I have to Some find the time plates, yeah. to drop yeah. them off. I don't have time for that. I really don't. Right. So, um, so they sent me a generic email that said something about, uh, you know, uh, receiving a bunch of orders and they were kind of like backed up. They blamed COVID yeah. and massive amount of orders coming through. So I was like, all right, I'll take that. Of course, we know everybody's ordering them. Yeah. Right. yeah so <laughs> at least they didn't send them. Along yet. with our lights off. Yeah, yeah. everybody. They, yeah. they just beat our doors them. now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't, I was just glad that they didn't send them yet. I don't yeah. care that they didn't respond to my concerns, but at least they weren't sent. And they saw my email. I sent the order number with the email and everything. So they knew who I was. It wasn't generic. Um, and these were clean. I took a picture with my iPhone because the iPhone could see. These are super clean. The edges are super clean. I saw Russ's. They looked a little unfinished. Did you run them? Not yet. I actually, okay. I, I, I got them off Let the email. And, more I, rigid and let me know the, if you uh, see a difference. The stock, the stock propeller. They feel they feel lighter. Okay. They feel more a little like because you, know, you see they feel the like the DJI butter They're more flexible. Drops. They're more the, flexible. Thing, the thing what a lot of yeah. people didn't get with the with the Phantom propellers, why it made a lot of, more noise than the Mavic. You see how it, it actually moves in the middle. That hey, what's up, Tim they're, they're a lot more flexible. On, right, that actually helps cut down on some of the noise. Hey Tim Jackson, what's good, man? Hey Tim, how are you, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a like. A Eddie, you're right. Roz is a Roz is a blast to fly with. She's 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 my she's my permanent VO. I'm gonna put it like on a table or something, <laughs> and uh, do the same thing like Russ did. I want a smooth surface, and I'm gonna put the props, and then I'll put the uh, the factory props on and, and see the difference. Um, you should the, record it. I'd like to yeah, see. Yeah, I'll record it for sure. Um, yeah. And also, yeah. I want to try out. With, what amazed me about Later, this Tim. is that exactly, the Graham. Mavic right. Air 2 is so quiet already. Like, you know, I fly yeah, a lot well, of that's guys why I, with the I, 2 I, Pro. I, and, yeah, Stevie, that's why I want to know whether it makes any difference or not. Is it worth the price? I mean, they're not that expensive, but still. Nah. Is it yeah, worth yeah, the I'll price? Definitely, I'll definitely let you know. And this, yeah. this, I love my Phantom. You guys know that. So this... This is another one because the Phantom is loud. And if this takes it down a little bit, it's supposed to get more battery life. You know, you guys probably seen the website. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me how is it on descending when you try them out? Yeah, okay. that's when it's the loudest, when it's coming down. Okay. Well, yeah, I want to I want to see. Because, Matt, see she don't want to come down. She well, wants to see, keep flying, man. The fact that the Phantom has trying, but it is not going to let it happen. It's part <laughs> yeah. of the, contributes to the vibration. Mm -hmm. The right. fact that it's a fixed prop. But this is crazy. I never, I, when I saw this, I had to get it to try it out. What's, what's, uh, what's different about this one is it comes with the locking You device. have to replace that. It's yeah. a yeah. hub. Yeah. I have to take it's apart the, the, the thing. You got to take apart the hub. You got to remove it and put those on. Yeah. That I don't like too much because I don't like messing Okay. With drone bomb. Oh, have a good evening, evening for brother. Thanks in, man. All right. Ooh, see, see, Eddie, Eddie, the problem with those carbon folding props for the Inspire mm -hmm. is, man, never make the mistake and get any fingers anywhere near them. Okay. Oh, because those things do that. not give, and they will, props. they will, yeah, but they, they will take, you, bro. they will take a digit, okay, faster than you can react. So I that's the only problem I have with the carbon fiber. fiber. The plastic is less likely. Mm -hmm. cause as much trauma right. as the carbon fiber right. because the, the plastic's more likely to break under stress against That's bone. All I flew with the, where the uh, carbon ECM fiber is not likely to stress. It made yeah. it like a sport bike. Yeah. Putting those carbon <laughs> fiber props on it. Did you feel a difference? Like I, I'm I'm curious in how the flying characteristics will be. 
with you're the gonna props. get more. Yeah, that's speed that's out of my the main carbon fiber prop because of the rigidity of it. Well, you but, know, uh, you get more noise. No, I with, don't with, mind the noise. The, I want people props, to hear me coming. Me too. <laughs> I want better flight characteristics. Uh, okay, yeah, but the problem, okay, the only one maybe problem. Maybe a little more increased flight time. Uh, oh, that would get good. Problem. I mean, these are the things you should expect. Hey, Jerome, off, psych. Uh, How are you? An engineered prop. Okay. My only problem with those butter knife but props But the sound, are, I mean, yeah. Like Herman said, coming down, it takes a while. They're real floaty. Yeah. With, with, with my carbon props... I've, I've flown with the carbon props and I've flown with the butter knives. I don't like the butter knives because it's so floaty, but the carbon props, what I like most about them is the rigidness, the rigidness. Now, I don't know how that's going to, I've, I've used them in the cold. I've used them in extreme heat. And I've heard that the butter knife props, you know, the little, the little Bendy uh, ones. The, yeah. the ABS um, plastic to temperature knife, they can break. They can, right. yeah, they, they can get brittle. Temperature differently. They can get brittle at extremely low temperatures. Exactly. Yeah. They don't just get more them. flexible at higher because temperatures. I don't, I don't care for them because when you're descending, it kind of hangs the drone up a little bit. It gets yeah. it it it, it, that's physics. That. What you so you want, and, and now, you want you sound, original, okay? your lifting surface, pores? your lifting surface is presented. Well, there there are workarounds there though. So no, so the workaround the there, right? Uh, the workaround. Well, again, I told you the story about when I put the the gimbal guard underneath the Phantom. Oh yeah, and you then don't, the freak, can't land. Freaking thing would land because it thought it was the ground. Herman, was the ground. Herman, Herman knows about so, that. Somebody told me that story. Yeah. Herman knows so, about so, that. So, so, jump so up and grab mine out there. And the technique actually, look, <laughs> if, if 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 at any point you're you're landing and you want to get down quicker, the quickest way to get down is to corkscrew. Yep. Not to come down vertically. Yep, exactly. Okay. Never because come straight you down. need a certain you could amount lose of, lift. You need you because you have to exercise some some attitude when you're trying to land okay and what i mean by attitude is the tilt of the aircraft so yes. just coming down you're working against your your mm -hmm. lift okay is working against gravity yes so when you corkscrew down you're actually pitching or your attitude of the aircraft is nose first and you can die, and you you're can coming die around, faster you're cutting the air surface that lift surface you're reducing it well, when I land, because of 90, your, your attitude towards the approach, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time when I land, I'm coming in like this. Yep, like yes. an airplane. Yes. Point. When yeah. it comes down faster, yeah. all you do is yeah. press yeah. those. Yeah. Drones, and with, so those do floating, <laughs> with those, with those, with uh, those second generation <laughs> props for the Phantom, it's still hung up. Your drones the are great at accelerating carbon, and going up vertically. Right because that's what they're designed to do. But exactly. coming in straight down, they're not designed to do that. The physics of it is not designed for that. Like Tom said, if you come in on an angle or you corkscrew, I corkscrew yeah. sometimes, I come down on an angle, but I that's never come down straight the, like this. The fan is so pro to down. come down with the gimbal guard on it. You <laughs> have to bring it in like this. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. it's not coming down. Somebody told me that it wasn't story. coming down. And yeah. uh, if you I was at a jump to pull away from you. Somebody told me yeah, about right. that uh, issue, and I took that off yeah. my wish list. <laughs> I yeah. was going to get all that yeah. stuff. You know, you always get all that well, stuff. Well, you know what it was, Steve? What problem. happened was I had the Mavic. I was in Red Rock Canyon, and I had a problem, and I had to land it. It was like 1,500 feet out and 500 feet down in a ravine. Ooh. Okay. And it landed right next to a little uh, creek wash. Uh, and it, 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 there was no hardly any water there. But when it landed, of course, it landed fine, except there was a rock right where the gimbal was. Hit the camera. Okay. Hit the camera, right? Uh, yeah. I so so now, now when, I got, when I got the Phantom and with the, uh -huh. with the camera hanging the way it was, I was like, oh, yeah, you know what? I wanted to replace the cover that came on the camera anyway that kept it in place and it came with a gimbal guard and i went oh that's great a gimbal guard man i was stuck up at 100 feet and i'm going how am i bringing this thing down 
because I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't come down. And then finally, when I look at the screen and I look at the telemetry, it thinks it's three feet above the ground. Okay, because the sensor is picking up the damn gimbal guard. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, I had to basically fly out from my landing zone and then come back in and keep chopping a little bit of the uh, altitude off, you know, each pass around until I was low enough to get it down. So, what made you think and that of was that, a hand catch. How did you know? Because what was happening was I was like perplexed. Why isn't it coming down? What the hell is going on every time no, I no, try I to bring it down? That. But what, what made you think about doing the corkscrew thing? Oh, because of your lift surface. Your attitude towards, okay, your approach right. determines how much lift mm -hmm. you're getting right. under. And, and the only... Yeah, but how does the drone know foil, this? Like, if it's still well, reading... No, that's, that's physics. It's oh, okay. physics. It's okay. physics. Yeah, but okay? Stevie, yeah. Stevie, with the drone guard on, with that guard on, because right. the drone is pitched forward... Even though it's that still looking down, also. It, so you a little bit, bit of bit angle also. is enough to Got still it. allow it to descend and and give it direction. Yeah, as opposed so you were to inching away down. It was it was it was giving you I a little bit. I was just angle. chiseling away pieces of it. God, yes, so but God. Stevie, you have that to think sense. about this also, Stevie. When you're coming straight down, your sensors are on full effect. Yeah, mm -hmm. at but then you level, angle, so you as don't opposed even have to on an angle. Yeah, 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 gotcha. yeah. It's, it's all physics. Yeah, well, live and learn, right? Yeah, yeah this is it. true. It's good you to know. know. Coming straight down with the drone is not a problem unless you're forcing her down. She will come straight down. You do it nice and slow. The second you true. stop trying to pick up too much speed is when you when can have a problem. I got to get it down quick. I got to get another battery in there. I'm going to miss that right, great shot. Right, I mean, when you she know, starts hey. dancing. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Poor planning on your part does not constitute an emergency on mine. Okay. <laughs> now, if you're coming straight down and yelling, coming in hot, that's a problem. Because yeah, so, so those hot, of you that don't go to meets haven't heard that uh, <laughs> that, 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 that chant. Watch mode landing. Chant. Now you have, mode coming landing. in hot, watch out. You have a better you know? chance of landing quicker coming in hot on an angle as opposed to yeah. coming straight down. That's all you, I'm saying. You want to see coming in hot, uh, go to my channel and see the Mavic Air 2 hit a building. Coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't label it coming in hot, but I should have. <laughs> Full sports mode. Mavic. Oh, wow. there's, a, there's, a video, there's a video I want to show, uh, but I'm going to wait till the statute of limitations is expired. <laughs> Listen, All I'm you can do is sure. backdate it. A lot of people have had <laughs> videos lie. coming in hot. <laughs> as long as I didn't show any telemetry on the screen, I think I'm yeah. good. I'm going to tell you something. I did not speed up that footage. That footage is exactly <laughs> how my boy gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And also talking about the uh, the pandemic, he actually got both his shots. He he was one of the first people to do. He he's not in medical or any uh, rescue or anything like that. He actually signed up for expen uh, experimentations. I guess or whatever and they they signed off this whole thing that they cover his medical if he got sick and all this other stuff so he was one of the first people to get the first shot and he got the second shot yeah okay. he was volunteering that's what he was yeah he yeah. volunteered to be like one of those you in know in the uh in the uh, in the study yeah in the okay. study yeah i'm going to interview him about that as well because because <laughs> after the second shot he crashed the mavic air too so i'm 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 curious about this. <laughs> <laughs> How he did sports mode into a building. <laughs> there might be something with the conspiracies online. <laughs> we'll see, Tom. We'll watch you. And, see, oh, man, you, I'm Matt, going too. For that you, Matt. Shot, bro. You, Matt. Watch some buildings. Going sports for mode. that second show. <laughs> Look, dude, I, I, I honestly, after I got the first shot, you know, the only problem I had uh, at night was. I, I couldn't roll over the way I normally do because the tail started growing. But other than that, I really didn't have any problems. So. You know, if you put um, some vinegar and um, some baking soda on, I think you'd be all right. I think it falls Matt, off, right? Yeah. Matt got taller somehow. Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. He looks a little taller. <laughs> the seat I had to bring it down. I had to bring my seat down. So. He's swelling up. <laughs> <laughs> he got both shots. The reaction, the reaction that I had I don't know if it was a pack of cookies I ate or the shot that gave me the runs. So oh, I'm cooking a lot of cookies. Dude, dude, that dude, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. You know, it, with, with my extensive medical training, 
Might have been. Dude, you you better check those cookies. You better check those cookies. His butt. His butt. Okay. It's a sports mode. <laughs> either that, either that, either that, or you better let QAnon know about your role. Because they got to add that to the conspiracy list. You're right, Tom? Tom. Hey, Ray, Ray, I thought almost the same thing. I wasn't sure whether it was the shot or the White Castles I had earlier. <laughs> okay? I wasn't sure, Matt. I wasn't sure. Okay? White Castles with chocolate milk? Hey. And by the way, for those of you that don't live in the general area, White Castles is a unique dining experience. Okay? Exactly. No, no. drunk. Look, all <laughs> I got to say is I have White Castles on a regular basis. It's better yes. than a high colonic. Me too, okay? brother. <laughs> It'll clean you out, baby. Holistic okay? diuretic. That's what it is. <laughs> Dude. Hey, we all have Ten our poisons, bro. right? Really hook you up. Uh, oh, man. I keep up my mouth. Nothing tastes, nothing tastes better than that at 4 30 in the morning <laughs> you don't right. feel good get 10 burgers at four in the morning you'll be all right that's mm-hmm. right after a few of these you're good. all good to go how, how many shots you in ray one or two what's that mm-hmm. how many shots you had right? well, February the eighth for my second one oh, okay so, so when you get your second you. one pull out those cookies and see what's up yeah right <laughs> we'll be on standby for get this. a new pack <laughs> Get a new pack, not the old pack. <laughs> no, that day, that day, he's gonna have some curry chicken. Pack. Okay, <laughs> he's gonna throw caution to the wind. All I know is, it's ten days after I get that, we get that second shot, man. We are on a plane out to the southwest, and uh, we'll hang out there for a month or two. Okay, mm, okay. So I just like the temperatures out there right now; a hell of a lot better than here. Yeah, Every you day is a drone day. Fire. Every day is a drone day. Bro. Hey, you guys watched Ken Heron show? Hell yeah. Last yeah. week, last week, Kelly Green has said something I thought was hilarious. But it was a joke. He was like about you know COVID. And he said he came home with the map of the of the world and put it on put it up on the wall in the kitchen, told his wife, you take this dart and you hit them anywhere on the map it lands. We're spending two weeks there. When this virus is over, and he goes, it turns out I'm spending two weeks behind the refrigerator when this is all over. That's oh, when the, the dot dot went behind the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He said, as soon as I get that second shot, I want to got the real ID license. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm, I'm out. I'm going somewhere. I don't care if I'm the only person on the beach. I'm gone. Yeah, we itching to get out too, man. Yeah, man. We won't get on a plane yet, though. No, I mean, we're still wearing masks and all. Well, I got tickets from last year still sitting. I mean, we were going to go out there right away. And, you know, especially when when I knew that we, I was going to work from home, why not work from out there? It, the only difference is instead of logging in at 8 a.m. in the morning, I'm logging in at 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it also means my day is more likely to be over at 2, 3 in the afternoon. Can jump on the bike. I mean, you know. Yeah, like like tomorrow, it's gonna be it's gonna be sixty five during the day. At night, it will drop down to forty five. Oh, I can deal with that. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna do the same thing in Peru. Just set up shop yeah. in Peru. Just yeah. use the phone. You know what they? I, I tell you, the 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 Caribbean is like all booked up, man, because uh, people have actually gotten like beach villas and stuff, and said, "Hey, I'm yeah. gonna work from down there." And, and actually, like the Bahamas was catering to people. Mm-hmm. The only problem the Bahamas had was there were so many damn hurricanes this year. It put yeah. a crimp on their style, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple of people that are working from out there and a couple of people that are working from, you know, way up north in New York State. And, you know, so, hey, hey. if it works, it works. I mean, didn't they ha- don't they have their issues down there with this, they- this virus? Yeah. I think everybody does. I know. I know Peru and all those places are upside down right now. Okay. Yeah. I have so. time. This camera died. I I have um. I still have vouchers, you know, from the airlines because they couldn't afford to give me the money back because everybody yeah. was hurting. Yeah. So I had, yeah. yeah. So I had vouchers. Got that for, big stimulus check. Yeah. <laughs> I got vouchers for ten years the of plane, um, for the hotels. <laughs> Some of the stuff I lost right off the bat, the smaller things, because I, I worked uh, with a company for a smaller plane to go over the mountains to from one city to the other. Some of it I lost, but for the, the bigger things, wow, supposedly. Kind of cold out there. Huh? No, I was 
reading uh, Night Train what he has said about the temperature for tomorrow. Oh, uh, where's Night yeah, Train? Yeah, Eddie says he Can appreciates it? the oh, overtime position. tonight. I want to recognize the overtime tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, once you start talking about White Castle, there's just spirals from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we getting ready to get out of here, man. We we yeah, we getting ready to get out. It's getting to about that time. Now it's gonna wait five more minutes. Five more minutes. Seven seven thirty, man. How you doing? You want to round it off, Ray? Old school. Seven twenty seven. No problem. Well, seven twenty four. <laughs> You went this long, you heard? <laughs> Central Michigan. Okay. I know what you want to do, huh? I know what you mean. He's sitting right there. <laughs> I think I seen Night Train on Marcel's show. They be playing the games in the middle of the night. Well, Night Train has a show he's on tomorrow night, right? Yeah, he comes on tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah, they, he does. They do F, Night Train does the FPV thing. Those have a good group of guys that go over there. And I'm hey. still hating on the root beer uh, moonshine night train. We need to hook hey, up. Uh, hey, what are we, we doing? Making up sample. for all the 630 nights, uh, Moritz? What are we doing today? Thanks, so. uh, what? Well, actually, Let talking. me know because the wife <laughs> just gave me the high sign. I did it with dinner in the oven. I, started, I noticed it. I mean, 730, we said. You know what? When, you, when you're having a good time. Six minutes. Six minutes. Well, you know what So, guys. No, we can't. Guys, I'm going to jump off to keep this marriage solid. Okay. Right. Before you leave. No problem, Tom. <laughs> because, hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. I don't it. want to you see you tomorrow. Yo, something on your head like this, no, Tom. No, absolutely not, man. <laughs> this upside the head. That's yes, what you got to be careful good one, of, right? Man. Everyone, have a good you. night. Stay safe, everybody. Good to see everybody. All right. All right. Good, good night, Tom. Go. Try to get him for that shot. <laughs> not Herman. <laughs> I heard you. Oh yeah. Well, you know, we always have a, a shot for you know, or two or three for someone's birthday. Let's do it. Okay, I have one more. Lauren, what happened? Oh, like my shit is going. Shot. Where's your shot? My, my shit is going. I'm thinking about dinner. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Salute, Stevie. Stevie, I got you. I love it. I see you got the green screen lit up well. Yeah, yes. I'm looking, I like no that. shadows. I made no I made the uh, adjustments. I still gonna tweak it out. Just but you know what? I did this with one one box light, one soft light, and I have the oh. Elgato, the desk mount like little studio streaming light. Whatever yeah, they have, some nice stuff that comes. Yeah. I like okay. it because it doesn't. It doesn't work while you're moving. I like it. It's, it's, yeah, it's right. because he has I got it right. properly. Let's see. I found out. I did a lot of research on green screen, and I found out the trick is to make sure the green screen is lit at the same mm -hmm. or close to what you your lighting is. But you yeah. have to have it lit behind you, and it'll get rid of all that cropping around. Yeah, so you move, yeah. your ear disappears, and all of that. Yeah, exactly. Like, that <laughs> that's <laughs> what that's what happened last time I was on. Like I, I couldn't even put the headphones because in between the headphones it would be green. So I had to yes. use the um yes, the it's, all, it's all they say now now according to the news stations, the true proper lighting for green screen is to have your light two to three feet from the green screen and your lighting two to three feet from the subject. Right, from your face. Okay, yeah. and you see how you could see the top of his headband and stuff? Yeah. That's because the green screen is lit at a distance pretty close to what he's using the lighting at now, if I'm correct, Stevie. Yeah, look, and you I know. have control with the Elgato. I can mm -hmm. do the, you know, this controls the, the light. You can do the toning, me. you can tone. Yeah. And I can make it brighter, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. cool, that's the light that's on me. I can't okay. control the light that's on No, the no, screen, that's though. supposed to be fixed, Stevie, yeah. from the research I was doing on green screen. Yeah, I'll cool. get it right. This is my second attempt. <laughs> so hey, Lawrence, right now it's clean. The rest of the one, they got some good deals on them. You know what's cool is I see that uh, the people use OBS and in, in the stream stream. Uh, what is it? Stream, stream deck. The stream key. Mm -hmm. stream is, yard. is it stream deck? The stream oh, yard. Man. There's a few of them. Stream yard. Stream. Yeah, hold on. I had it here. I I got everything it's here, but I haven't key. messed he's with talk, it. He's talking about the box, Herman. Stream is stream deck and. OBS? Stream Deck, yes. Yeah, stream deck. Oh, yeah. you're talking yeah. about the, the Elgato um, joint. The, the, yeah, the so deck. they 
They can program all the stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Exactly. You could kind of program everything. Like I could put like a frame around me, and I could put the Capture Life connection over here, and I could do all mm-hmm. types of stuff. Like because those uh, those kids that do the gaming uh, videos. They put themselves in a box. They put all the designs around them and half yeah. their head is sticking out. It looks really cool. I just, you know, for, for just jumping on people's live streams like this, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get all crazy with it, but I want to try to figure out the OBS thing. Because the OBS thing, you could do the sound effects. You could do, you could uh, put your favorite things in the boxes and um, then you click on it. working with that now, I'll Stevie. Actually send so, you a yeah? video on so once I get it down, I'll be able to share the knowledge, but... I'm actually working with that right now to, to even have maybe an intro 30 minutes before a stream or something like that, yeah. 15 minutes before the stream. And also that sound deck helps with programming, but there's, right. there is a way you can do it. Right. I, I watched a few YouTubes and it's interesting. I just need to find the time to just pay attention. Cause like mm. when you multitask. Split and- is good because they save to podcast. I see um. The night train was putting X split is oh, okay. a, a light okay. version of OBS. Yeah. OBS is, is no joke though, but they, I don't need as much as they could provide. You know what I mean? I just want to kind of make it look nice. Cause it's you know, I don't have to be switching. running out. How about that? It's good for switching. Yeah. Making things come <sighs> on when you need it to come on. Because and then when I do different displays at different times, that's what OBS really is, is good for. If I could get it really nice, I won't have to be walking and talking on my vlog. Sometimes I could just do the talking part at home, you know, if I can make it look legit enough. Mm-hmm. That's where OBS comes in. Exactly. So you I, could I, take I, a I, screenshot from, from where you were and put it behind you and make it look like you were standing or even play a video behind you right. on your green screen mm-hmm. and, and have it look like, like, you're, like you're there. You know, right. you could even have cars going by in the background because of your lighting right now. You would not be able to tell. Right. The difference, just like right. holding it up and vlogging, it, you, you'd be vlogging from your living room with no pants on. Nobody would know. <laughs> if, it hit, if it hits seven thirty-one, Ray's gonna make us go to eight. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven thirty. It is about that time to get out of here. Plus, I think Roger want to go live. Yeah. Roger is already live. He's already oh, live. wow. He's <laughs> already live. Last me on Roger's show now. Nah. <laughs> so let me, um, you know. Y'all ain't going to see me till tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> hey, guys. i like to thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Everybody on the panel, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you. The people in the uh, chat, guys in the chat, thank you for stopping in and hanging out with us. For well, without you guys, none of this would be possible. Really appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out with us every week, and we'll see you again on Wednesday. But like I said, Roger's live right now. We'll see you again uh, next Wednesday, and we'll see you again on Sunday, actually, for Lawrence's stream on uh, Sunday night with those guys. Thank you, and I'll see you next time on Phantom Flight 101. Peace.